So new year, new email list challenge companion workbook. And I'll just give you a little preview of what's going on with everybody else. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of an overview. We'll uh, set up a little bit of a blueprint in our funnel builder so you can see what we're doing. And then we're going to go look for a done for you digital product to use as a lead magnet. And talk a little bit about the different types of opt-in funnels and the different types of email choices as far as single and double opt-in. So we'll talk about that. And then tomorrow, Bridget is going to take this lead magnet that we've found, and she's going to show you how to uh, turn into some email sequences and set up everything through Mailing Boss for you. And Jackie on day three is going to put it all together into a beautiful landing page and turn that funnel into website. And Jean... I can't tell you what Gene's going to do because it's a super secret surprise, but it's going to blow your mind. I'll just tell you that for day four. So be ready for that. And here we go. I'm just going to scroll up a little bit and follow along on this worksheet if you like. Now, Shelly mentioned before how the money is in the list, and that is so true. And one of my favorite sayings is always play the long game. And it applies here in email uh, as much as anything else. It's a long game we're playing. It's going to take you a while to build up your email list. But when you have an email list with several hundred thousand people on it, let me tell you, there is money in that list. And it's all going to start with just that first subscriber and just getting your routine down. So I gave some stats here for us, just so you know, for 10 years in a row now, email marketing generates the highest ROI for marketers. For every $1 spent, email marketing generates how much in ROI? Would you believe $38? That is ridiculous. And that's been the standard for about the last 10 years. It varied a few points, but for every dollar you spend on email marketing, it generates $38 return on investment. Now, I've done a lot of investing in my time, and I don't think I've ever invested in anything that gives me a 38 to 1 return. So email marketing, far from dead, um, very profitable. And think about this, social media platforms come and go, but email marketing is here to stay. Um, and think about it, you may have several email addresses, but you've always got that one email address that you're going to keep because you've used it to sign up for everything in your on world, <laughs> online life. So that email is not going anywhere. So just keep that in mind. It's here to stay. Social media platforms come and go, as, as we've all seen. So email really does deliver the highest ROI, ROI for marketers you see right here. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to switch over into our funnel builder and just give you a little overview of what we're doing. So let's go over here to our builder all dashboard and find our funnel builder right here. I'll press enter. And we're just going to kind of lay out a blueprint so you know what we're doing here through this challenge. So first off, I'm going to say add funnel title, new year, new email, little acronym here and blank theme, create. Okay, so here we get this blank start the funnel. So I'll press start funnel. And right off the bat, we want a lead magnet page, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and click this one first. Okay, we'll bring this up here. So we're going to have our lead magnet, which we're going to go and find uh, momentarily. Okay, and then you just press the plus button here to get your next thing. And the next thing we want is our email confirmation page. And I believe we can find that under the thank you section here, email confirmation page. So we'll bring that up here. And after they fill out the form, so we're going to find a lead magnet. They're going to say, yeah, I want that. I'll gladly give you my email information on this form. And when they fill out that form and press uh, submit, it's going to take them to this page. It's going to tell them, hey, you're almost to that lead magnet you want. Go to your email and click confirm, and then you will get that. So then from here, the next page will be a thank you page. And we'll just say thank you page right here. And we'll connect the dots. All right. And just so you remember that you can right click on any of these if you want to change any of the the titles or anything. Thank you page. We could even maybe say slash download. This is for our benefit here, this little blueprint, just to get it straight in our mind what we're trying to put together. And again, Jackie's going to actually put it together for you in a couple days. So this is the long and short of our funnel. It's pretty simple. It's going to start with the lead magnet. They're going to fill out a form, give us their email address, and then it's going to send them to an email confirmation page, which will send them to the thank you page where they can get their freebie and go from there. Now, I also want to show you some things here. Let me drop this. And I'm just going to X out of these just so you can see if you wanted to use one of our pre-made blueprints, you can do that too. You can go to blueprints and go to lead capture. Okay. And you see lead magnet funnel. 
you could click that and it's it's very similar. You know, really the only difference is where this says download. Like I said, we could say this is the thank you page. Okay, thank you slash download. So there are a lot of um, blueprints in here already. If you want to change your lines, you just click on that line and you can press an X and then I can reconfigure it how I want it there. So just want to show you a couple different ways you can build it yourself each at a time or you can just find the blueprint there and uh, modify it to your liking. Now, I do want to mention there are two types of opt-in funnels, and that's what we're talking about here, an opt-in funnel. So this type is the type with a lead magnet right here, but you can also, the second type would be one without a lead magnet, okay? So let's get rid of that and say we just have a form hanging out somewhere on our website that's not offering them anything specific. It may say, uh, sign up here for more information or to join our email list or our newsletter or whatever, but you're not really giving them anything as a lead magnet that would draw them in and say, I want this freebie thing. So that's really the two different kinds of opt-in funnels with or without a lead magnet. And you can look at that lead magnet as the freebie. Okay. So let me go back now and we're done here. So now we're going to go over to IDPLR. Um, okay. So before we go there, um, Funnel Builder Overview, two types of funnels. Okay, I covered that. So what we're looking for on IDPL is a lead magnet, okay? And a lead magnet is an incentive that marketers offer to potential buyers in exchange for their email address or their contact information. Lead magnets usually offer a piece of digital downloadable content, such as a free PDF checklist, report, ebook, white paper, video, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and take us over to IDPLR here. This is IDPLR.com. It's a place where you can find private license rights um, or private label rights. I've heard it said both ways. Um, products that are done for you, digital products. There are other sites like this, such as PLR.me and a whole bunch of them. You can just Google PLR or private label rights and you'll find a whole bunch of sites. This is the one I belong to. It's pretty affordable to join. I think it's only like $69 for a lifetime and it has a lot, as you can see here, 12,590 plus PLR products. So this is the one I'm gonna show you about because this is the one I know about. So I'm already logged in here and I wanna show you just a couple things if you come to this site. First off, the dashboard, because there's uh, an important section on here I want you to be aware of and it is right up here top left called product terms. Okay, so if we click on that, it's product terms explained. So as we start looking for these done few digital products, which we will in just a minute, you'll see that they have a bunch of different terms of what you have the right to do with these things and what you are not allowed to do with them. And um, on the individual products, the description's a little pithy, you know, a little short. So if you're not sure, you can come here and see what does it mean when they say can be used for personal use? And you just get a little more detail, okay? So that's very important just to know that this little section is here for product terms. So now we're going to go ahead and start searching for our lead magnet, and there's several different ways to do it. You could search products here and ebooks, and that's what I'm looking for for this lead magnet with giveaway rights. That's what I'm looking for because a lead magnet is a freebie. So let me click on here. And there is a lot. Okay, you see, you see how many pages here of, of different lead magnets. And you really need to just take some time and go through these and figure out what's going to work best for you. Think about your market, what kind of people you want on your email list. Um, and that's going to have a lot to do with what kind of lead magnet is going to be appealing to them. Okay, so let me go back to our um, worksheet here just for a second to give you an idea of what we're looking for. Okay. Again, they usually offer lead magnets to a piece of downloadable digital content. And what we're looking to do is in our pitch for this on our landing page, which uh, Jackie will go into more is we want to be specific. We want our lead magnet to promise one big thing and deliver on that one big thing, that desired result and provide instant gratification. And this is your first opportunity to over deliver. Okay. So I'll talk about that more in just a second, but here's some examples of different kinds of lead magnets we might be looking for on IDPLR or a similar site. It could be a checklist, a cheat sheet, template, swipe files, a script, a toolkit, tutorial recipes, okay, a workbook. So I won't read all these to you because you have this, you can look at this, but just a kind of a brainstormer. These are all the different kinds of things you could provide a free trial, a mind map, a newsletter for a lead magnet. Okay. And some things you want to look for in lead magnet is you want to strive to provide more value, okay, value than is expected, which will solve a problem for your audience. Okay, and this is really big here. Um, when we talk about delivering value here, 
let me see if I can stop the screen share for a little bit. When we stop about talk about delivering value, this is kind of what we're shooting for. I don't know if you've ever heard of the book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. That's by Gary Vee. But he talks about this, how uh, in your emails, you're putting out some content value, value, value. And then every now and then you can throw in a right hook, which is an offer. <laughs> okay. So you want to try to deliver more than people think they should get. So you, this one big thing that you're wanting to deliver on, you want them to get this leap magnet and say like, I, this solves my whole problem. I can't believe that this free thing is actually of so much value. That's what we're trying to do. So then when you try to sell them something, they're going to have this feeling like, you know, what Keck already gave me for free was awesome and solved my problem. So I'm sure what he's offering me for, for sale is going to do that even more so. So that is really what we're looking for there. Okay, back to the screen share. So just wanted to really emphasize that this is our first opportunity to over deliver, provide more value than people would expect. Okay, so some things to avoid in a lead magnet. First off, you want to read through the entire lead magnet and make sure it does not contain anything that is not congruent to your offer or what it is you're trying to lead them to. So that's important. And we'll, I'll show you an example of that as we go through this. And also when using a done for you lead magnet, be sure to read the terms and conditions and be sure that you know what you have the right to do with it. Okay. Very important. And when using a done for you lead magnet, be sure to download and save the license. You want to save the license because you may need that in the future. So we talked about this already. There's two types of opt-in funnels, one with a lead magnet and one without. Okay. And you also have two options when it comes to subscribers on your list, single or double. Okay, I'm going to stop right here on the worksheet and we're going to go back to IDPLR and try to put some of these suggestions to work. Okay, so let me show you a different way to search, okay, because this, this is a volume. I mean, there's a ton of, of things to choose from here, but there is an advanced search here I want to turn you on to. If you go to the search uh, little icon here and go down to advanced search, okay, and here I'm going to type in any of these words, or no, I'll say all of these words, and I'm going to say internet marketing. So I'm making the decision for this lead magnet that I want to try to attract people and get them on my email list that are interested in internet marketing. Very broad, very broad. So, and that's kind of my idea here since um, this is, I'm doing this with the intention of uh, bringing them in and hopefully they'll become a uh, part of the builder all community. So they're definitely into internet marketing. So here you can um, select categories, days, time range, date range when they were released. I'm just gonna leave them all like that. But here's the thing I really like is down here can be given away for free. And that just speeds things up for me a little bit because that's what I'm looking to do is find something I can give away for free. So I'll go ahead and press search. And we'll see 37 results. So it just kind of pars our results down a little bit. So we don't have to spend four days reading through 300 different things. But it is good to spend some time and get to know these. Because even the 37 results here, I highly suspect that out of the almost 13,000 products on here, many more than 37 allow you to give away uh, an ebook. So you have to kind of dig. But this is just kind of a little, a little cheater way to do it a little quicker. So easy online income streams. Crush it with YouTube. Okay, 10 ways to create the perfect online video. Okay, you can see all these free CPA, which means cost per action, the best online marketing secret ever in the history of, that's a big one, huh? So we'll scroll through here and keep looking. And let me find one that I looked at to give you an example of maybe what not to do. I think it was this one. So this one I thought looked pretty good. No cost guide to online marketing. Okay, that's not bad. So I click into it. And this is what you'll see when you click into things. You will see the ability to have a preview, okay, of the files right here, okay? And as you go down, you'll get a little description of, of what the um, what this product is and uh, more detailed of what's in, it has eight modules and what each, of the eight modules are, are about. And here's where we get into the product terms, okay? Can be sold, can be used for personal use and so on, okay? And can be given away for free. That's what we're looking for. Just in, as, a, as an example, some things you cannot do with this, you cannot modify or change the main product or the graphics or the e-cover. Uh, you cannot add it to a free membership site and you cannot convey or sell private label rights. So again, just know what the what the uh, lead magnet is giving you rights to do. Be real sure about that, okay? And you can preview them a little bit right here before you download them. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna preview this report a little bit and 
I'm sharing this with you because you really need to do this part. Okay, You have to go through and, and read through it all because one thing you want to make sure is that it is congruent with your offer. Okay, so as I'm skimming through here, you will see here it's saying, always make sure you're using Twitter. Okay, well, I don't use Twitter myself. Uh, I don't know much anything about Twitter. So, I mean, that wouldn't be a deal breaker for me exclusively, but that doesn't really, uh, it's not really congruent to what I'm doing. Let me close this and all right, what happened? Here we go. All right, so let's see the download page, squeeze page, email series. Okay, look at this module number six here where it says recommended affiliate products. So I click in this one and I'll see recommended products for this report. And look at all these affiliate products that are offered here. Now, the problem is these are not my affiliate offers, okay? And some of them may very well be in uh, competition with Builderall, what I'm trying to ultimately bring to the people. So I just wanted to show you that because that's an example of why you really want to look through and read through all these because it may look, oh, perfect, no cost online marketing. This is going to be perfect. But when you go through all these, you realize, wait a minute, they're recommending things that are potentially in direct competition to my future offers. <laughs> so you don't want that, okay? So let's go back and we'll look for something else. And I've already chosen one and it's gonna be right down here, this one. So internet marketing metrics. This is the one I've chosen for our little challenge here. So discover the eight most important metrics in your online business so you can ensure you'll always know what's working and what's not. You'll find out the tips, techniques, and exact steps to take uh, to take to finally get the results you deserve. So this, this fits my criteria of being something very broad for internet marketing. They can be in a lot of different areas of the internet, internet marketing space and think, hey, I could get some value out of this. So let's look at the preview. Okay. And here we can look at the ebook. Okay. So I can take a look at the ebook here and I can read through it. I can look at the table of contacts. And I've already went through this one to, to make sure it's congruent with what I want to do. So this is good to go. Uh, let me find out how to close it here. There it is. All right. And you can also, in this little section, see the squeeze page of this product. Okay. So let me click here just to show you what this is. They say, hey, this is what your squeeze page should look like. Okay. So we can take this and rebuild it in Builderall, which is what we're going to be doing throughout the next few days of this challenge. So it shows you how this looks. And not only that, but all of these different graphics you see here, like this little logo, the book, these check marks, this little um, red dotted box, all of these things are contained in the um, packet of stuff that you download. So they give you all of those pictures and stuff. You can also look and see what they have, the thank you page, how it looks. Please confirm your email address. Perfect. And sales letter. You can see a little more in depth of the pitch. Okay. Very nice. All right. So we'll get rid of that. So that's where you access and find out what all these things are. And then to download it, you're simply um, going to press the download button. Now, when I was setting out to look for this, I did want to look for a lead magnet that comes with email swipes. Now, um, and that's something I usually do because who likes to write emails? Well, who doesn't like to write emails? I don't really like to write emails. So I like to have some done for you emails just as a, a template. You know, I get in there, modify, make it my own, but I find that helpful. This particular one did not. However, it did have this bonus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 articles. So it's got these nice 10 articles that I believe Bridget tomorrow is going to show you how to turn these into emails um, in her, in her training tomorrow. But I wanted to make sure I find some either with emails or articles that I can turn into emails and they have those right there. So that's important. That's something I always look for. So, and then basically all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download, press your download button and you'll see it come up down wherever your downloads are. Okay. And we'll open that. You'll have to unzip, extract all. Okay. And here's my file. Here is the ebook. Here is the website that we previewed. And, and here is some of that bonus material that we're going to turn into emails. Okay, so let me put that down because you don't need to look at that anymore. Okay, cancel. All right, so that is the long and short really of, of finding your product, okay? You want to take some time. You want to read through it all. 
You want to look at the examples of the web pages and the thank you pages they give you. Make sure it's congruent. Make sure it's over delivering. Make sure it's really delivering and providing value to your audience. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take us back now to our worksheet. And we're going to switch gears a little bit now that we've seen how our um, funnel looks, the blueprint. Okay. And we've seen what product we're going to use. And now we'll go and talk a little bit about email. Okay. So you have two options when someone subscribes to your list, a single or a double opt-in. You guys all know that, but it can be confusing. Uh, what's the difference and why would I want to use one over the other? So just to kind of lay it out real simple, a single opt-in means there's only one, okay? Only one or a single action needed, okay? And uh, to opt in. So they only have to do one thing. Example, fill out the email marketing form and click submit. As soon as they click submit, they're on your list. That's just a one action, single opt-in, okay? Double opt-in, on the other hand, there are two, okay? There are two actions needed to opt in, two for double, double opt-in. Example, they need to fill out that email marketing form and click the submit button. That's one action. And then their second action, they have to go to the link in their email and click that confirm. So that's what makes it a double opt-in, those two actions. Now, single opt-in will get more subscribers because it's easier for them to, to subscribe, but double opt-in will get more emails delivered. Now, this is really important. I want you to get this. Our goal in building an email list is to get subscribers, okay, that want our emails and that the emails actually get delivered to, okay? And it has a lot to do with whether you choose single or double opt-in. So the problem with single opt-in, if you just have a single opt-in, and they don't have to go to their email and confirm, they could give a phony email to get the freebie, right? So under single opt-in, you get people opting into your list like Batman, you know, at GothamCity.com or something like that, because they can just put whatever they want in there, say, you know, Batman, and uh, I'm Batman at Batman.com or whatever, and then click the button, and then they have, they have the freebie, they're opted in, but they're not a real person. It's not a real email. Um, they're just using that to get the free thing. So what happens then is when you're going to send this person an email, it's not a real email address, and it's going to be detrimental for your ability to deliver emails to other people, and I'll get into that more in a second. So double opt-in gets more emails delivered. And I'm just going to tell you, obviously, you want to use a double opt-in list pretty much all the time. Remember, we're playing the long game. Always play the long game, okay? And it really applies here when we're talking about double opt-ins. So I'm going to discuss a few things that go into some factors that affect the email deliverability, okay? First off, sender reputation. And the reason I'm discussing this is because, you know, people will get become new to email marketing or internet marketing and they start to do email and then they'll say, my email is going to spam. Why is my email going to spam? It's not working. This thing's not working. Okay. <laughs> but there are so many factors involved on why your email might go to spam. And um, the, the email provider you're using, like Mailing Boss, for example, has very little to do with it, okay? Your email, the domain your email is attached to has a lot more to do with it, okay? So here are some factors that affect your deliverability. Sender reputation, okay? An email sender reputation is a score that an internet service provider, referred to as ISP, assigns to an organization that sends email. It's a crucial component of your email deliverability. The higher the score, the more likely the ISP, internet service provider, will deliver emails to the inboxes of recipients on their network. You can think of this kind of like a credit score, okay? It's not a credit score, but you can kind of think about it like that because all of the internet service providers and the email clients, okay, the, the Gmails, the Yahoos, every, everybody, they're all kind of in cahoots, kind of like credit reporting agencies, you know, TransUnion, Experian, and whatever the other ones are, they all kind of have an algorithm that together they decide on what your credit score is going to be, right? Same thing with internet service providers. They have an algorithm where they're all kind of in cahoots and none of us really know what the algorithm is. We have an idea, we don't know exactly. But, and from that, you get a sender reputation and you also get a sender score, okay? Your sender score takes a wide range of variabilities into account, including bounce rates, spam complaints, and how often you send to spam traps. Let your sender reputation go low enough and your email providers will filter your emails based on your IP address alone without taking the quality of your campaigns into consideration. 
So your sender rep, you have a sender reputation, you have a sender score, okay? And also there is a domain reputation and a server reputation. So whatever domain you have your emails attached to, that has a, a reputation. So if your domain has in um, the past sent out some spammy stuff, um, that's, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt your domain reputation. Likewise, servers have reputations. So many email ISPs, internet service providers and email provider clients like Mailing Boss, for example, has some uh, guidelines and requirements as far as like what kind of list you might be able to upload. They want to make sure the list is solid and everybody's really opted into your list um, because, and they're doing that for the reason of protecting the reputation of the sending server that we all share. So that's why sometimes you might get into some of those rules because it's really for your own good and for our own good of everybody that uses that server. So some other factors that go into determining your email rep reputation is email opens. Okay, you want real people reading your emails, not Batman. Okay, and when Batman opts in and he gets that free thing and you send that email to Batman and it's not a real email, what do you get? You get a bounce and that increases your bounce rate, which affects your deliverability in a negative way. Okay, is that all hopefully making sense together? So you want people to open the emails, which means you want your subject lines to be, you know, optimized. So they're speaking to your audience, so they'll actually open them and then. Once they do that, links clicked in the email is a big factor. You need to provide value and reasons for them to open the email, read, and click through your emails, click through on the links. So if somebody, um, for example, is on an email list and you send them emails and they never open a single email from you, that's not really good for your list. You would like to eventually get that person off your list because they're not opening it. And that is is uh, affecting in a negative way your email deliverability. <clears throat> Excuse me. Likewise, on the other side of that, if your content is so good and your, your list is tight, they're double opt-in, they're real people, they're real emails, they get the email because they wanna hear what you have to say, they, they want the value you're providing and they open it. And then if you have a link in there and they click on the link in there, that's like more proof to the ISPs that, hey, people are actually opening the email, reading it and clicking on the links, which tells the ISPs that, hey, this is like legit. You know, people really want the emails coming from this sender, from this domain, from this server, and all those things boost your reputation up and it boosts your, boosts your deliverability up. So I know that was kind of a lot about, um, about email, um, the difference between single and, and double opt-in, but it is really important. A um, few things I didn't mention here that I just realized, spam complaints, that's kind of self-evident. Spam traps, okay? Spam traps are something that the ISP set up to try to get people to send spam to them. <laughs> so so just, uh, I realized I hadn't really defined that for you. You can look and learn more about that. Um, okay, so I think that walks you through the most of what I have for you today. Let me stop my screen share and invite Shelly to join us back in here. There she there. is. Oh my gosh, my, my camera is blurred. But um, oh my gosh, that was such great information. And y'all, the, there's a couple of things that I want to definitely hit home with. And that is um, number one, your double opt-in versus single opt-in. Keck did a great job explaining what that is. And that is super duper important that you go for that double opt-in. Um, I, I like to say it this way, single opt-in is sexy but double opt-in is common sense because you're going to get better deliverability, which means you are uh, getting that reputation up so you can get into the inbox instead of the spam box. Plus you have a warm email list then because people have purposely said confirm. Uh, so they want to be a part of your list. So definitely go double opt-in every single time that you can do it. It makes sense. And then the other thing is uh, talking about that reputation in general and Keck did a great job. It's kind of like a, a credit score. And you want to keep that score as high as you can keep it. So you want to make sure that your emails are getting delivered, that you're uh, you're working through your email list all the time to take out the people that are not opening and not clicking. Um, you want to find every once in a while you'll have a valid email, but it will still bounce because they cancel that account or for whatever reason. And so you want to be checking and conditioning your email list all the time. So that means that you have to go in maybe once a month, maybe once every couple months and look for those emails that are not delivering and boot them out of your list so that you don't keep delivering to them and your system is just you know messing up your, your reputation score. So it is a lot of work. Um, I think Keg did a great job of explaining that it, it's not the email of five years ago, even 10 years ago. Um, it is a new, um, I don't know, almost like a battleground, right? Where you gotta get in there and you just gotta fight for every single person on that subscriber list. 
and every single email list that you create, you just got to be in there and working it and making sure you're taking care of it. So these are, this is great information. I'm hearing great things already in the, um, in the live right now. People are so excited about number one, what they're learning. And number two, they're loving the uh, summary that you put in their Keck as well, that they can kind of copy or not copy, that they can follow along and actually really uh, get this solidified. So you did a fabulous job. This is like a great way to kick off day one, right? <laughs> Yeah, and it's so foundational. You know, if you want to if you want to be successful online, you've got to build the list. And it's everything else is so sexy, you know. Oh, Miss Shiny, I can build this and look what we can do with that. But you got to build your list. Right. That's exactly it. So you guys have the beginning of of what we're going to do for the rest of the next 3 days and uh Bridget is up next, right? Is that right? Yes. And I'm so excited about Bridget. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be shocked. So I've actually divided my screen. So I actually have two windows here. I have the workbook in this window here, and then I have mailing boss on this side here. Now, the reason I've done that is because I want to go with you through the workbook step by step and show you actually not just visually in the workbook, but I want to show you in the video exactly how you can do this. This is so easy. I hope you're blown away by how easy this is. So the first thing we need to do, if you look in your workbook, it says day two, you want to buy a domain and create a professional email address. This is so important because there's no use in creating an email sequence if all of your emails are going into spam. So you want to represent your business in the most professional way possible, even if maybe this is just to get leads, maybe it has nothing to do with your business and you're just, you know, just trying to get leads for a specific offer like affiliate marketing. It really doesn't matter. You need to make sure that you have a professional email address. And so to have that, you have to have a domain. So what I've done is I'm not going to show you all of that because this training would be forever long if I showed you all of the amazing things that you can do in Mailing Boss. But I did add a training video there in the worksheet. So definitely check that out. You can buy your domain and get your professional email address in Builderall. So you don't even have to leave the platform to do that. So let's actually get started now creating our email list. So if you can see now we're on step two in the workbook. So what we need to do is click on workflow and you see that here at the top. So we're going to click workflow. And you see now we basically have like this um, canvas for all of the sequence and the list that we're going to create. So let's go ahead and give our workflow a name and we're just going to call this Internet Marketing Metrics. And the reason I chose this name is because that's the lead magnet that we're using. That's what Keck chose yesterday. OK, so now we have a name for our workflow. We just need to click Save. So now our workflow is called Internet Marketing Metr Metrics. So the first thing that we need to do in our workflow is go ahead and add a list. So I'm going to left click on the list and I'm going to drag it here. So now just following along in our workflow or on in the workbook, you can see that now we have left clicked on the list and we've dragged it to our canvas. And now we need to actually create the list. So we're going to click this little symbol here. And since we don't have a list yet, we want to create one. So we're just going to click create new list. Now I'm just going to name this list the same thing. I'm going to have it be the same display name. We'll go ahead and add a description. And here is where you can choose if you want a single or a double opt-in. So if you're following along, we're in step three in the workbook. So a single opt-in will automatically confirm when opting in, but provide a much lower quality list because they only have to enter their email address one time. So um, they enter it one time and then they go right to the offer, but they could enter, um, you know, Batman at Gotham City. I think that's what Shelly likes to use and Keck used yesterday. Um, so they could enter that in and then they would go to your offer and then you're not going to be able to retarget them. Then that, that fake email is going to go into your list and then your autoresponder is going to send, try to send them emails, but it's going to bounce because it's not real. So not only does that defeat the purpose of your marketing and creating this, this entire funnel, but it also um, hurts your email reputation. So double opt-in is definitely the best practice. Now the difference with a double opt-in is that you have to do two actions to to confirm your email. So they go from opting into your funnel and then they go to an email confirmation page. And then from there, they get instructions to go to their email address, open the email, which also increases your email reputation. And then they have to click in the email again, increasing your reputation and also at the same time, confirming your list. And then from there, they will go to the first sales page. Okay. So you have the opt-in, you have the email confirm page, and then you have the first sales page. All right. So we're definitely going to choose a double opt-in because we want a very high quality list. So we're going to click create. And now um, if you're following along here, we've clicked create. Now we need to edit the fields in our list. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, update list. And 
here's where you'll have the ability to add tags. You can change the display name, but we've already actually done that. Um, I did want to show you before I move on, if you do need to change any of this information, you can do this here. I always choose a no welcome email because I want my welcome email to be the first email in my sequence. Okay. Um, you can also choose your send your sender email, meaning the emails that, or the email address that your emails are going to come from. Now, this is another reason why I tell you, you have to have a professional email address because otherwise it's going to come from this email. So they're going to, they can't save it to their contacts. It's probably going to end up in spam. So you really need to have a professional email address. Okay. So the main thing that we need to be concerned about right now is the field. So let's go ahead and click on the fields. And you'll see that since we've created our, our, list in the workflow, it actually has a default field for email only, but we actually at least want the first name. And typically, you know, if you're just running a lead campaign, typically first name and email is fine. So what I'm going to do is click here to add the text field. And let's go ahead and just give this a name. We're just going to say first name. So that that's what's going to be in the field in the form. Okay. So it's going to say first name and then it's going to say email. So we can give this a tag. So if we do F name, then that tells mailing boss, whatever they enter in this field is going to be the first name. Okay. So we're going to just say F name is the tag. We do want to require it. So if you choose required, it means that they will not be able to submit the form unless they have entered that information. Obviously, since we want the first name, we want it to be visible and we can go ahead and just change this from zero to one in the sort field because what we're telling mailing boss is when we connect our funnel to or when we connect our sequence to the email marketing form in our funnel we want the first name field to be first and we want the email field to be second so once you've done all that and i do give you some other examples if you do need uh, more fields i give you some examples and tags in the workbook here okay so let's go ahead and now let's move down we're just going to save the changes so now we have the fields in our form corrected. The first or the next section that we need to address is the pages section. So under the pages tab in the menu, there are two columns. You have the pages column here, and um, you'll see a preview of the default pages that are connected to your new email list. Okay. So these are the pages connected, and these are the emails connected. So here is where you can see all of the a preview of all the emails that are going to be sent in this list. All right. So these are totally customizable. Um, let's move on down here. So to customize the pages, um, if you create and connect your email marketing form to this list, your pages are not going to be directed to the right places. Okay. So a lot of times people in my group, they always get confused. Um, you know, they say, uh, I don't understand why my email is not going to the confirmation page or it's not going to the thank you page when they confirm. Here are the three places you need to check. Now, I there you can override this, but since we haven't created our funnel yet, Miss Jackie is going to do that tomorrow and she'll show you how to connect the funnel that she's going to create to this email list that we're creating here. Okay. But I do want to show you the places that you need to double check if you are troubleshooting and having that issue. Okay. So under the pending subscribe, here is where you're going to ask add your confirm email page. So let's go ahead and click here. And you'll see if you scroll down, you can click the advanced section. And then here is the link that you're going to put your email confirmation page, meaning they go to the opt-in page, then they go to the page where you want them to um, direct them to your email or their email address to click to confirm their subscription. Okay. So if you have your own custom email confirmation page, you want to put that link here. Otherwise, if you don't, it's going to go to this ugly page here. However, I will say you do have the ability to customize this using any of these options here. Okay. So let's go back to the pages. The subscription confirmed page is going to be the page that they sent that you send them to after they have gone to their email, they've opened the email, they've clicked, and now they're confirmed in your list. So the subscription confirms page is going to be your thank you page or your front end offer or, um, you know, however you have your funnel set up. So this is going to be the page that you want them to go to after they've confirmed. So again, if you want to customize this, you can use any of these options here. But since Jackie's going to show you how to create your own page, you can just paste the link here to override the default page that's already being sent out. So now let's go back to the pages section and we're going to talk about customizing emails. So 
you can go through all of the emails and customize them, but most of them will not be used. So um, the standard three page double opt in funnel, the only email your lead will receive is going to be the subscribe confirm email. Okay, so let's click here to subscribe confirm. And this is going to be what they see. Now, um, Shelly always teaches us that you can actually delete this tag. This is what's called a tag. This is a tag and this is a tag. So these tags are going to pull in the information. So this tag here is actually when they receive the email, it's going to be a link and it says, you know, you can click here. Um, they can also click here. So whether they click here on this, um, this link or here, they're going to be able to subscribe or confirm their subscription in your email list. So here it's going to pull in whatever you have here. So I don't really want to tell people, please click here in order to confirm your subscription on the list, internet marketing metrics. I want to say, um, you know, click here in order to receive your free ebook download or something like that. I want to make it compelling. I want to convince them, hey, make sure that you take the next step to get what you wanted. Okay. So that is where um, you can customize that. And again, you can make this pretty, you can add images, you can do whatever you want to. Okay, so now if you're following along, we're on step six. Okay, so now that we have our list created, we have all of the fields that we want, the next step is to create and connect our email sequence. So let's go ahead, let's just save and next. And let's go back to workflow. And the first thing we want to do, if you follow along, it says left click on the green arrow to the right of the list we just created. So we're going to click here. From the menu that appears, click email sequence. So we're going to click email sequence. So from here, you can choose a sequence we've already created, or you can create a new one by clicking create a new sequence. So that's what we want to do. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. So we're just going to say email marketing metrics, and we're going to choose the same list that we're working on. We can choose to send to future subscribers or current and future subscribers. Since we don't have any current subscribers, we're just going to keep it send to future subscribers only. And now we need to choose how many emails do we want in the sequence. So five is a good number. Five to 10 is usually standard. So I'm just going to choose five, and then we'll go ahead and click create. So if you're following along, let's see where we're at. We click create new sequence and okay, we've given it a name. Um, let's see, all right. So now we need to edit the email sequences. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And then you can see all of the sequences here. Now I will say uh, when I did the work flow or when I did the workbook, um, I didn't, I, instead of clicking okay, I just went and started editing. So if you're looking at your workbook, we started on the fifth email. So in this training, I'm going to start on the fifth um, email as well, but you could choose and start with any of these. It's going to be the same process. Okay. So for the sake of staying consistent with the workbook, let's go ahead and start with the fifth email. So to edit this email, what we need to do is just click here. So we're going to go and click email information, filter tags. So now this is the fifth email and you'll see it says internet marketing metrics number five. We definitely want it to be an autoresponder. We have the correct list and our sequence. Um, we're not going to add any filters or tags for this. We're going to go ahead and click save and next. Now I did create an email template and I want to show you how simple if you have never created an email template definitely I put some training here um, in the workbook to the knowledge base so that you can figure out how to create an email template but I wanted to show you um, how easy it is to pull in that template and how much time it can save you so to pull in my email template that I created we're just going to click uh, change select template and then I'm going to choose this one here and so now we have the email template that I've created. So this is going to be the same template that goes with all five emails. Now, the reason that having a template is really important is because I want to remind them every time they receive an email that they signed up for internet marketing metrics. I want to remind them that, hey, remember me, you signed up for this, you, you were interested in this. So here's some more information I'm giving you. Also, what I love about doing this is if I'm promoting Builder All, I can actually just put an image here. So technically, I can just, you know, Kat told you I was going to take the articles and change them to emails, which I did, but it's so easy to be able to do that in the most simple form, even if you don't, you've never written emails, you're confused by emails, this does the selling for you. So I could technically write an email and say nothing about Builderall at all and just have an image down here. And if you click the link, it goes to builderall.com. 
Okay. So now I have all of this set up. So now all I really have to do is give value. Okay. So I have all of the social media links here. I have my ad for builder all, and I also have the heading to remind them like, Hey, this email is coming from that list that you signed up for. Okay. Because definitely don't want them marking my emails as spam. And when they do open them up, I want them to remember why they're receiving that email. So what I'm going to do, I've already written the five emails. So I'm literally just going to start copying and pasting. So if you see in email number one, I've actually already put the first name tag because when you add a tag and you can simply do this by left clicking in your, um, your template, you can go to available tags. So all the tags that are available are listed here. And if you want to choose any of them, like let's look for first name, here is the first name tag. So you can actually click that and then it adds that tag to your email or you can just copy and paste. So what I'm gonna do is just, since I've already added it to my email, I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it here. So before I, I was going to click control V um, to paste, but I want to show you, I, this is another question I get a lot. Um, people are pasting into the email, but it has a weird format. Okay. Now I want to keep the format in my word document. So I just want to keep paste or I just want to click paste. But if I wanted to not keep the format, all I could do, all I would need to do is just click here for paste as plain text. And then it will not have any of the bold or italicize or any of that. Okay. So I'm just going to click paste because I do want the formatting, the formatting, except you see here now it made everything bold. So I'm just going to go through here and that was not convenient. So let me unbold this. I'm going to go through, I'm going to unbold this and unbold this. So you get the point. Um, I don't, I don't want to spend all day doing this, so I probably won't do them on the rest of these, but um, once it is exactly how you want it, and I've just put your name here. Okay. So don't just, you know, you guys will get this um, funnel and these emails. So definitely go through them, make them your own. I know that we say this a lot and a lot of times people don't do that, but really I want you to go through and make them your own. And you'll also have to change this link here to make sure that it goes to your builder all link. And you also want to put your own social media. These are important in emails too, because you want people to be able to follow you, get to know you. It's part of building that know, like, and trust factor. It's also a really great way of building the traffic on your other social media. Okay. So let's say that we love this email. It's perfect. And now what we need to do is go ahead and click save and next. So now we have the subject line that we need to address. So you'll see, I already have that created. And when you create your subject lines, you definitely want to give them, you know, a little idea of what's going to be in the email so that they're interested to open it. Um, you know, you don't want to just say, uh, open this for a special or something. You want to stand out. You know, when I put this uh, subject line, I want them to, they've already opted in to the funnel, right? To get more information about internet marketing. So when I put this as the subject line, three mistakes to avoid in internet marketing, the chances of them opening are pretty good. Okay. So again, here's this ugly sender from email that definitely we want a professional email address there. So now we're happy with our email. We're going to click save and next. Now, since we started on the fifth email, Actually, I pasted the first one in there, but we'll say that that's fine. Um, we started on the first email or the fifth one. So now it's going to say um, five days after they've subscribed is when it's going to send this email. It's going to send the same time as subscription, which is really helpful. Um, let me go back to our workbook here. It's really helpful when you are promoting to people internationally, because if I put, you know, 7 a.m. my time in Indiana in the United States, that might be, you know, 1 a.m. someplace else. And obviously that's not a great time to receive an email. So I do like to have same as subscription, but you could change it to any time. You could also change um, whether you want it to be five days, five minutes, five weeks. Um, and if you wanted it to be six instead of five, which is also a great idea, um, you know, depending on how you want your first email to go out, if you want them to receive your um, email confirmation email and then you want to send them a thank you email and then you want to send them another email it's totally up to you how you want to set it up one email a day is good we'll just leave that at five again you can choose whether you want to send to future subscribers only or send to current and future subscribers we'll just leave it to um future subscribers because we don't really have any you can also choose a time to activate but i actually most times don't choose this because once our entire email sequence is done and created, then I will go through and activate all the emails. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So something else that is really, really important. Let me make sure I'm staying up with my, um, 
my workbook here. Something else that's really important is this click here to check spam score. Okay. If you put a lot of affiliate links or a lot of links that are redirected, um, you will get a high spam score. Now this one, because it has, um, I think there is a link um, there's a link with a, I would need to definitely investigate this because if you get a zero to five, it is okay and it, it will send, but the higher your score, the more likely you are to end up in the spam folder. So before you guys get this, I'm definitely going to go through that and um, figure out why we're getting a five, because we do not want to send this out with a spam score of five. We want to get it to as close to zero as possible. Typically 1.2 is what I seem to get for the spam score. So that's another great thing that you can check to make sure that these emails you're sending out are not going to end up in spam. That's, that's the worst thing that can happen. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we'll click save now, and then we will activate later because we're not going to do that right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to, um, let's go to the first email here and let's go ahead and edit. And what we need to do now is we're just going to go through the same process, but I'm actually going to go to email two. So don't worry, even though I got out of order, um, I will fix this before you guys get this copy. Okay. So now we're on the first email. Actually, let's just do the same thing um, to stay in order. And then I'll fix that fifth one. All right. So um, this is the first email in our sequence. We want the autoresponder. This is the correct list and this is the correct sequence. We're not going to add any campaign filters or tags. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click next. And again, we're just going to paste the content of our email into our form, but the first thing we need to do is upload our template. So I'm going to go back and choose my template. So now we have our beautiful template here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste all the info. Let's say that that looks good because I know you guys are going to come back through here and you're going to customize it and put all of your awesome things. So we're going to click save and next. And we need our subject line again. So we're going to click here. We're going to just copy and paste. This is going to be our subject line. Again, we have this ugly send from email. We're going to go ahead and click save and next. And we're going to choose um, for this email to be sent one day after they've subscribed, same time as they subscribed. And we're going to send to future subscribers only. We're not going to worry about the activate time. Uh, one thing for sure you always want to do is send a test email. And all you have to do is just enter any email address in here um, that you want to receive the test email to. That is so important because uh, a lot of times I'll check I will catch spelling errors and I will also um, sometimes I create a graphic that looks really weird on mobile. So I always love to, especially when you're doing an entire sequence or you've just created an email template, um, definitely send a test email to yourself before sending it to um, your entire list or activating it. Again, you can check the spam score here, which will probably get the same score. And now we're going to click save and activate later. So we need to complete the same process for all of these emails. So let's just breeze through this. Let's go ahead and do number two. And we're going to click here for email information. Uh, it's the correct campaign, autoresponder. We have the same list, the same email sequence, no campaign filters or tags. We're going to click save and next. Let's go ahead and copy the content for email number two. And we need to pull in our template. So I'm going to click here to change, select template and choose. And now all we need to do is highlight this text and control V to paste. Again, we have bold text, so we're gonna say that is fine. And we're gonna click save and next because we have completed our email. Let's go ahead and grab the subject line here. And we're going to copy, and then we're going to paste our subject line and then click save and next. So you can see once you get all of this set up, this process is really, really fast and smooth. We're going to go ahead and send this email two days after they subscribed, the same time as they subscribed. We're going to send to future subscribers only. We're not going to worry about the activate time. Once we've sent ourselves a test email, definitely want to check the spam score. We're going to click save and then activate later. Click that again. All right, so now we're on email number three. If you guys missed any of this, definitely going through five emails. Um, you are bound to catch it again, even if you don't watch the replay. Okay, so number three, here's number three, and you can double check, it says internet marketing metrics number three. So we're gonna click here to edit and information, email information. And we're on the third email, we're gonna choose autoresponder. The list is the same, sequence is the same, or no filters or tags, we're gonna click save and next. Let's go ahead and bring in our template. So we'll choose. 
I hope you guys can see now how long, if you did not create a template, how long this would take you. Um, this time, I'm actually going to click um, paste as plain text. So you can see when you do that, it doesn't keep any of the formatting. OK, so it's really your preference. However, I just wanted to definitely show you um, that you can do that because I, I get that question a lot. And people are like, it's keeping the format. I don't know what to do. Um, so let's say that this is awesome. And we're going to click Save and Next. And let's go ahead and change the subject line here. So I'm just going to paste that here. And again, the ugly email. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save and next. And we're going to send this out three days after they subscribe, the same as subscription, send to future subscribers only. I'm not going to worry about activating. After you have sent yourself a test email, you definitely want to check the spam score. And we're going to click Save and activate later. OK, so now we are on the fourth email. So now we're going to go down to the fourth one. We're going to click here and we're going to go email information. And it's the fourth email in this campaign. Same list, email autoresponder, uh, same sequence, no filters or tags. Click save and next. Let's go ahead and bring in our email template. And let's go ahead and just copy this information. So copy and I'm going to double click in the box here. I'm just going to highlight this text and then click Control-V. OK, so we're going to say that we love this and it's perfect, and we're going to click Save and Next. So let's grab our subject line. And I'm going to copy. Let's go ahead and add that to the subject here. And again, that ugly email. I always look at that, and I'm like, oh, I want to change that. <laughs> um, so we're going to click Save and Next. All right, so now this email is going to be sent four days after they subscribe, the same time that they've subscribed, and it's going to go to future subscribers only. Again, we're not going to worry about the activate at time. After we've sent ourselves a test email, we're going to check the spam score. Actually, you would probably do that before you send the test email. Um, we're going to click Save and then Activate Later. So let me go back to my, my workbook here. Um, OK, so we've gone through that. OK, so now what we've done is created our entire list, our email sequence. So the last thing that we need to do is if you guys look here, you'll see that these are each each of these emails say paused. OK, this is a really important thing, too, that a lot of people have questions about. They get everything set up and they're like, oh, my gosh, why are my emails not sending? I've done everything correctly. I cannot figure it out. It's because you have to go in and activate the emails once they've been created. So the easiest way to do that is click here on the emails on the little clock there. Um, here you can update any of this information. If you changed your mind, if you wanted to um, actually put an activate time, like maybe um, you're creating this in advance and there's a special and you, you want it to activate at a certain day and time, you could actually choose that there. If you want to change when uh, this goes out, you can choose these options here. But the main thing that you need to focus on is this status area here. So where it says paused, you actually want it to be active. So we're going to go through each of these five emails and we're going to make them active. So all you got to do is just change that to active and then click OK. So now you see that it has changed from pause to active. So we're just going to go through and we're going to change all of these to active. I'm going to go to the third one and change it to active. And the fourth one, active. And the fifth one is active. OK, so you guys, the last thing we need to do, let's go ahead and save our workflow. And that is how easy it is to create an email sequence and your list. So now tomorrow, Jackie is going to show you how to create, um, now that we have a lead magnet, we have our email list created, we have the email sequence created, Jackie is going to walk you through the steps of creating your funnel, um, organizing your landing page or your sales page or your email confirmed page, whatever you want to call it. And then um, she's going to connect it to the email sequence that we'd already have. Um, so if Shelly wants to, I think Shelly might be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm here. <laughs> um, wow, that was so great. So much great information about how to set up that subscriber list and the email list and how to set up your full-blown set of emails, which is absolutely incredible. Now, I want to ask a couple questions of our, our team here. Um, when you guys send out emails, do you hit every time the email and, and the subscriber, do you hit them every time with an offer? I mean, do you, do you send every single email saying, buy this, buy this, buy this? Um, what, what are some ways that you put value in your email that maybe you don't hit them with an offer every time, Bridget? 
I love to go with a role of, you know, like Gary Vee talks about jab, jab, right hook. So the first two emails, I'm introducing myself, you know, the third email, then I'm going to offer them something. But that's why I love creating those templates um, with the, just the little ad or the image below. Because even though I'm not saying buy this, buy this, I'm still kind of saying buy this. Right. So it's kind of selling without selling. So that that's what I like to do. That's my preference. Terry. Same here. And of course, depending on what you're sending the email about, it's a great time if you've introduced yourself, perhaps told a little bit more of your story, because it's really important to build that trust, like no trust factor up into you personally form that relationship. So if you haven't done that, it's a great time also to share some other knowledge about whatever the topic is, uh, just providing really valuable content. It could be something as much as a, another blog post that you've run into and maybe with some good information that isn't going to compete with your offer, but is an adjunct to it. So there's all kinds of different ways. I totally agree. And I know Bridget's probably got some great examples because Bridget actually has a lawn care business, right? And you, if you had an email sequence going out, what are some of the value things that you could add in there to an email that wouldn't be, wouldn't feel like you were trying to be salesy? So how could you do that with a lawn care business? I actually love to send them uh, information that actually helps our business. So how to keep your grass green. And in that email, it's going to talk about why you need it cut on a regular basis, why you need to water the grass. Now, why, you know, obviously if they're paying for a lawn care business, they care about their grass. Um, but also I want them to have it cut regularly because we're the ones cutting it. Um, I also want them to water their grass because it makes the grass grow faster. So we're cutting it. Um, not only is it great for their grass, but it's great for us too. I also love to incorporate services that we don't offer offer like um, chemicals. You have to be certified and licensed to do chemical treatments, but there are some great DIY treatments that people can do for their lawn and save them lots of money. So not only am I providing them value by telling them that, hey, did you know you could do this yourself and save money, but I'm also keeping in contact with them. And then if they click my link, I get affiliate commissions. Right. That's absolutely fabulous. So you, you can see guys that you can provide value. Any business can look at their, look at their business and say, what can I teach them? And do it in a way exactly like what Bridget said, do it in a way that, you know, they can do it themselves, but most people will go, hey, that's a great idea. Frozen, let it go. Yeah, so when go. she comes back, I'll share with you guys a little something also. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call Bridget's service to do that for me. All right, I think I'm back, am I back? Um, You're back. James, you wanna say something? Uh, yeah, so I wanted to also add guys, if you're sending emails, as your personal brand. And, and what I mean by personal brand would be maybe you're using your, your name as your personal brand, right? So people, you want them to get to know you as a person, not just the business that you do or the things that you're selling. So when you're sending an email and you're a little bit lost of like, what am I gonna send? Well, you make a post on, face, on Facebook, on Instagram, or maybe you shared a video. So on your email, you can tell them like, hey, so today it was a great day. I shared this on Facebook. Go check out my Facebook post or go check out my Facebook or Instagram video. And by you adding the link to Facebook or Instagram, they actually, I don't know if it's 100% true, but uh, it favors um, Facebook and Instagram links for some reason, emails. So the likelihood for your email to land on spam, it's very low. And also, you know, you're sharing a personal, something that's personal of, of you, whether it's maybe like for myself, I will share uh, on the email, like, oh, you know, my daughters and I went out today to, to the park and I was thinking X, Y, Z, whatever. So I sent that. So they get to read my email and then they get to read my Facebook post. All right. That's, that's a really good suggestion, Jean, because you're working on that email reputation and Keck touched on this yesterday and we touched a little bit on it today. And that is that every time that your subscriber opens your email, you get positive points. Every time your subscriber clicks on a link, you get positive points towards your email reputation. That is like super duper important. So that reputation is what's gonna determine if you get into the inbox or the spam box. So I'll, I'll give you a secret of what BuilderAll does. Uh, just to let you know, we send out emails about our blog every week. Terry actually does a fabulous job of keeping our blog updated. And in those emails, we have links we don't give them the whole blog in the email. We give them just a short blurb of what's gonna be in the blog, a little outline, and then they can click that link to go to the blog. So for all of our builder all people, they'll see that email and open it. They'll see the summary of the blog and click on it. That's a two for us. That's two of those points, those reputation points that continues to increase that email reputation for that 
builder all domain. So that's great. So that's another thing you can do inside your emails is maybe summarize something to send them either to a page to get more information or to a blog to get more information. So it's, it's again, a great way to get that email reputation up. Uh, Jackie? Another way that I've been using as well is, especially when it comes to whitelisting your email address, is year by the third post around. It depends on the niche as well. Um, in my specific niche, because it's cake decorating, I always ask them to send back or reply to the email and sending me a picture of the cake. And then I will post it to my social media accounts uh, with their business details. Awesome. And that automatically places the fact that they reply to your domain shows the importance to Gmail and all those accounts that this is a reputable uh, company that they're dealing with. So you automatically don't have to ask them to whitelist because just the fact that they replied um, makes it that it, it increases your domain reputation. And yeah. what I like about it is because people love to show off. So whether it is an image of themselves or an article that they've written or something amazing that they have done in that specific niche or whatever they in, they would do anything to get onto a social media account um, and being shown to other people. So that really works for a variety of different kinds of niches out there as well. Awesome. Now, if you guys are uh, in Builderall and you're an affiliate of Builderall, we've actually created emails for you. Uh, if you go to the knowledge base and on the knowledge base, there's a link to the Builderall resource Trello board. That's for affiliates of Builderall. You can actually see in there all the emails that Builderall sends out for every single plan that's out there. So whatever plan it is, you can see the exact emails that go out. And then there's also a sequence that I created for my team. When people sign up to my uh, account, when, they, when, when they're sponsored by me, they get those emails. I put that copy on there and I use the template just like Bridget was showing. So you'll not only see the email, but you'll see the exact template I use so that you can actually uh, just get an idea. It's not that you have to copy it 100%. Because it, it's me, right? It's, it's stories about me. So I don't think you'll be able to copy it 100%. But it will still give you a really good idea of what an email looks like, what it sounds like, um, what feeling you get when you read that email. All of that plays a part in these emails and how, when you send them out because it's a representation of you. So when you write these emails, be you. When you create these emails, be you. Uh, and make those templates and set up those templates the way you want them. And don't worry about perfection. Just worry about creating them with, with your uh, flair, your personality. Um, get it all in there so that when they go out, it's a true, real representation of you and your business. And with these templates, you can do different colors. You can put pictures in there. You can put designs in there. It's very, very easy to create those templates. And then once you've created a template, you can actually just pull it over. In Builderall, we have several different templates when we do our email. So we have one design that's for uh, the Builderall free accounts. We have another design for the Builderall premium accounts. We have a completely different design for the Builderall funnel club accounts. So depending on what, uh, what account you have, you get a different design email. So you can actually do that. You can have several different templates and use them for whatever you want to use them for. So Bridget has covered an amazing bit of information just, just to get you started on emails. Now I am, so do you guys have any more to add to the email discussion? Anything you can think of that you'd like to add? It's amazing, right? What we've covered. And, uh, and I can't wait till tomorrow because we're gonna take what Keck said and what Bridget did, and we're gonna coalesce it together and put Jackie in charge of putting that all together in an actual funnel. Uh, so in the last two days, Bridget and Keck told you how important an email list is. And they showed you all the do's and the don'ts and they did a fantastic job. But today I'm going to tell you something else. So wait for it, because this might shock you, that your email list actually means nothing. Now, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can think about this. So, guys, I am really not joking. It's the truth. You can have the best email sequence in the world. Ryan Dice, my favorite digital mentor, could actually have written that sequence for you. But if you do not have a landing page that demands the attention, you can forget about getting anyone on your list. It is important to know and understand what is needed on a landing page to ensure that you get that click happy visitors. And that is what this training is about today. The first thing you need to do besides designing your landing page is giving attention to the content. And the very first point in is multiple reasons that you will need to give your visitor to act on. Whether it is a benefit of the product or a newsletter or an ebook, you must give the people enough reasons to take action. The next one is clear directions. You must tell people what action you like them to take. Now, this could be something like click here to get your copy of a unique marketing system 
or it could be something like um, enter your name and email address to receive your free copy of this life-changing report today. Any strong call to action can mean the difference between getting the visitor to actually take action or having them to leave. So you need to pay very close con uh, attention to that component. The next one is you also need to make sure that you capture their attention the moment their eyes fall on your page by writing an irresistible headline and a subheadline. Now, another important tip to think about is make sure that your headlines are relevant to the freebie you're offering, and you can use the subheadline to remind them what the problem is that you're going to solve for them. The next one is to avoid animations and too many colors on the page like the plague. I know it's not like the plague, like the coronavirus kind of thing, and I'm not joking with corona, but I'm just saying it's important to remember. You want attractive visuals, and you do want to keep the attention away from the lead magnet or the, or the click to action. Now, for you that do not know what is a CTA, it means click to action. Sorry, click to action. The next one, there are many other factors that I haven't mentioned in the workbook, but there are just a few so that I think you can go read my essay for the rest about landing pages. Not really. <laughs> Again, I, I did create a lot of uh, pages with regards to the different types of uh, landing pages and the ways and the means that you can help it and avoid certain things. But like I said previously, I will show you a little bit later exactly how to use that workbook once you're going to get to our um, e-learning that is going to be at 30 days. I think it's 30 days or 34. All right. So the verdict actually is the following. Make sure that your landing page is clean free of extra links and other dis distractions. And you must focus solely on one main goal, which is obviously getting that visitor to click. So that is basically summarized my workbook and that essay into a bite-sized chunk. So what we're going to do now is, I just want to see if I can just stop my screen share for one second and move over to another one. So two seconds, guys. Uh, where's my screen share button? Stop share. Right, I'm just going to go to my other screen. That's what happens if you've got too many screens open, right? Uh, two seconds. All right, now I can share. Where are you? Just a second, I'm with you guys in two moments. Okay, now I can share my new screen which is this one. All right, so we're going to start. I just want to move the pictures out of the way or myself out of the way. Now, right in front of us, we've decided to do that um, internet marketing metrics. That is what Keck found for you on the first day. This is the PLR that we are working with. So now the very first thing before you're going to start creating any landing pages, you're going to look at what they are giving you. So now, as you can see, this is what it looks like on the PLR site. We've got a squeeze page, a confirm page, a thank you page, a sales letter page, and another thank you page. Now, we're not going to use the sales letter because we are not selling this book. We are giving the book away. So the sales letter and the thank you page, we're going to ignore. And then we're going to take quickly look what the squeeze page look like, the confirm page, and the thank you page. So this is the squeeze page, if you want to put it that way, or lead magnet. And if you scroll through it, you can see it's got its bullet points. And if you now remember in the presentation what I talked about, it needs to have proper uh, headlines and subheadlines. It needs to show the benefits. So all of these things are showing right there. The only thing that, sh that, I, that bothers me slightly, and I think this is probably a personal opinion, is this little block at the bottom. It always reminds me of sweepstakes. I don't know why, but you will see when we start creating our own landing page now, we're going to use the similar things, but I'm going not going to use this. I'm going to use our own little uh, email marketing form. And then another thing is to your success and your name. I mean, no landing page have this. So please remember, especially for guys that are new, if you do use PLR products, it does not mean you have to copy exactly what they've got. This is just to give you an indication of what you can do. So please avoid certain aspects to it. Like, I mean, for me specific, this block is just not going to do it for me. So that is the first thing that we are going to look. And then we're going to look at the next one. And this says action required. Please confirm your email address. So this is the confirm page. It's quite plain and simple, but I think we can do better with our beautiful Cheetah Builder. And then we've got the one where they actually download the copy. So you can see it's nothing major, but we are not going to create exactly the same. We are going to use the certain elements, but that does not mean we are going to use or do exactly what they have done. All right, so the next thing, 
because we know the colors, we need to find a way that we can use similar color colors because with the, with this uh, PLR, when you download it, they're going to give you certain things that you can use, which is all the material and all the graphics. So as you can see here, we've got bonus articles, which can be used for emails. So you can see there is all the bonus articles. And then the other ones that we've got right here is the ebook that you can download and upload wherever you want to store it. There is your ebook, that's the freebie. And then you've got on the website, you're gonna have all the different information. So let's click on squeeze page. And there is your images. And there is the text for the confirm, the text for the thank you, and the text for index. And that's what we're going to do. But before we do anything, you're going to go to images and you're going to download all the different kinds of images that you believe you're going to use. So if we go look at the PLR right here, so I'm not, I'm just going to ignore that page for now, and I'm going to ignore uh, the thank you page. I'm just going to look at the main one, which is this one. Um, what I would like to use is obviously the, the logo at the top and the information and the book e-cover. The rest I'm going to ignore. So that is basically what I'm going to download right now. So you're going to go back and you're going to go through all of these images. And if you wonder how to download, you will just click and then right click on it. And you're going to see there's a download button. Now to save us some time, I've already downloaded a few of those items. I'm not going to go through them again. And the confirm page and thank you page and the index, that is the text that we are going to use for them. So that is what we're going to do. Now I'm going to show you how do we grab the color of this specific item. Now what I like to do before I build landing pages is to open up a notepad and put the colors and the codes for those specific colors already in a notepad so that when I start building the landing page, they are already at hand. Now you wonder where do you get these color codes? Now that's easy. I'm going to go to the things that I've downloaded and I'm going to open it up. Just wait for it to open. And the, the little colors, the color here on this specific one, we can actually open it up in on the IDPLR site. But let me show you, you can either open it there or you can use Colorzilla here at the top. It is an extension that you can download and you're gonna click on page color picker. And as I move around on the page here at the top, you can see the colors as it changes. If I move over, there is a slight darker green and a lighter green. So what you're going to do is you're gonna click and then you're gonna copy the color. You're gonna go back to your notepad and you're gonna add your colors there. Now, a very important thing to remember is when you do your landing pages, make sure that your landing page and your email template that you've created is the same. You want consistency. You want the people when they receive your email marketing or your first email from you that uh, they can see it's the same site. So it's very important to remember that you use the same thing across all, across all pages. So right now you've got your colors. It's all nicely packed for yourself in, the, um, in this little notepad. Now we are going to go to Builder All. So right here on Builder All, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Funnel Builder to create our um, landing pages. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know what, I can just go and create it uh, one page at a time, but it's missing the whole point because Cheetah Funnel Builder is so amazing and it's so fast. So we're going to create a new funnel and let's call this one, I think it's Internet Marketing Metrics. And we're going to just create a blank theme because we're going to create it ourselves. We're going to create the funnel. We're going to start the funnel. And then remember, you've got all these different pages, but you also have the option to use blueprints. And what we want is basically a lead magnet. Uh, you also can, uh, there's not really much difference between lead capture funnel, lead magnet funnel. You're just going to have to take a look at both of them. So let's just go with a lead magnet. So there you can see how fast this is. We've got our lead magnets. They're going to fill in the form. They've got the conform, uh, confirm email page and then the download page. That's all that you need. So what you're going to do is now, because Bridget already created the email sequence for us, we just need to go and add the, to this form by click right clicking, you can give it a name there if you like, and then we're gonna load the lists. All right, so now our list is added and you can see there it is, you're gonna choose that and we're gonna close. And that's basically linked. Now I like to go and change my pages because we've got a lead magnet page where you got your freebie on, then your confirm email page and your download page if it said thank you, if you wanted to change this, you're just going to right click on it and you would be able to change it right there. But I've actually chosen the lead magnets. If you chose the first option, it will say thank you page, but that's perfect. So we've got our download and we're going to generate the site. 
and it says successful generated. We're going to go to the website. And I'm just going to go close that funnel builder because I don't want to have too many tabs open. All right. And I think I am in the wrong builder. I think I'm in the wrong builder here. Two seconds, guys. I am um, just realized. No, I'm not in the wrong builder. Why did it take me to my own builder? That was not very strange. Okay, let me just check. Go to website builder and see if it sits there. Okay, well, there we go. There we go. There it is. No, it's not that one. Or is it? No, there we go. Edit. So there's our pages. We've got confirm email. We've got the download page and we've got the lead magnet page. And you can see it's a little bit screwed up if I want to put it that way. So I like to sort it. So I'm going to put it my lead magnet first and then my confirm and then my download page. That's just how I prefer to have them. And then I click save. And now, because I love to use a header and a footer so that I don't have to go and duplicate it every time, I'm going to create the header first and create header. I'm just gonna say I am for internet marketing and we're gonna edit. And we are going to add a panel, a blank panel. And remember now we want to duplicate the page that we've got on the other side. So what we're going to do is we want to change this background and we are going to our little notepad and we're going to grab the code. It's actually the head color, sorry, copy. And we are going to go to background settings and we're going to paste in the code like that. And what we need to add now is the logo. So we're going to go grab an image and we drop the image in the box. We're going to right click, general settings, change image. And remember, we saved the image to images previously. So I've uploaded them already to make it easier for us. So we've got, that's the wrong one. Sorry. That is for our Opti, not for this one. I think I haven't up uploaded that one. Let me just check. Change image. I did not upload it yet. The logo. There it is. And we're going to grab it. There it is. We're going to get rid of this text box at the top. And I'm going to move it up. Okay, we're going to right click because we want to increase the size of this panel or make it less. And we can leave it like that. We're going to hit save. And we're going to say that's fine. All right, so now we are done here. We're going to go back home. I always save and exit even if I know that I have done it. All right, so now we're ready to start. I am not going to put, do the footer on purpose because I will show you later why I am leaving it for the very last. So let's start with the lead magnet. We're going to edit the lead magnet. Now, remember, we already done the header. We don't need to worry about the header. And our wonderful Cheetah Funnel Builder has already created an outline for us. So there's not really much work here to do. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to the background settings. We're going to go grab our code for the background and we're dropping it in so that we can have the same as what we have on um, our email marketing. So we're going to do one thing at a time. We're going to change this image. There needs to be an image right there. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to general settings, change the image and we're going to grab our book. And that's it. We will play around with the book just now and we'll play around with the heading as well. So now we need to change. Now, I always like to just delete it. Don't tell me why. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I always do that. I always delete what's there because I like to work with a, with a, a clean canvas. So let me take Jan Doe out there as well. So let's go add the marketing form, email marketing form. And I prefer to do the orange because I like to have a contrasting color. And we've got the internet marketing. 
So if you did not delete it, that would already be connected because remember in the funnel builder, we connected the email list, but now I just showed you when I delete it, you have to add it again. Now we need to get rid of this label. The only way is to right click, go to general settings and remove the label. So if you want to, you can now change the button, but I like the button, the call to action to stand out because it is going to pull the attention of the visitor so that they know that that's where they need to click. So that I'm just going to leave it there for now. So now we're going to go back to our squeeze page and we're going to look at the indexed page. And this is the information that they're giving us. So I'm going to use the word free report first. So I am going to copy. Now, I like to normally copy all of this text into a notepad because I don't want to copy all the um, formats. But for the heading, I don't mind about doing that for the heading. So let me just go back to the cheetah. So right here, I'm going to paste that in there. And I just want to do that for now. And now we need to replace that wording, go back to free report. And in this case, I'm only going to go up to business. Now, there's no right and no wrong with regards to the way you're doing it, as long as it looks good. Control all, and there we go. And then we need to go and grab the rest of the code here. And we're going to go back. Where is my page? Oh, I always go around and post it and go grab text. So let's try. I don't know how that one's going to look, but we can always play around with it. Okay, so now we've got most of this wording right there. So I'm not going to be bothered how it looks right now. We are just adding all the content to the page and making some space. Now we've done, we are done with, um, we are now going to grab the information right here. Now you can choose to add these little icons or you can leave them out. The choice is yours. Just remember, if you do not do this right on mobile, you're going to have to either hide them in mobile and just have the steps, but I will show you when we get to that. So now we've finished with the, that section. Oh, I've already opened it up, sorry. Now we're going to go to the bottom. So I am going to copy all of this because I'm really afraid that I'm going to mess it up on the page. So I'm rather putting it in here because it's going to take out all the formatting when you copy paste it into a uh, into a notepad. So then we're going to go back to Cheetah. We're going to go grab a paragraph. There we go. Just take this a little helper away. Going to copy it in. And we're going to stretch it a little bit. Just for a few seconds. All right. So now we know that that's one paragraph. How a metric is not. How to measure. Whoops. That one, that one, that one, that one. So now we know that's fine. And we're going to start by making that bold, bold, bold. And the last bit, bold. All right. So now it's starting to become looking better. Now I'm a perfectionist. I like to justify everything. So there we go. Now that is justified and it looks fine. Move that up slightly. And we're going to squeeze it in a bit more to bring it in and then we can go to the top. I'm going to move this down and this one, I actually need to make a lot bigger. So I have decided to rather delete that one there and go with something a lot bigger. I don't know how big that one is going to look. Let's see. That's better. All right. So we've got our free reports sitting right there. We bring this up. Then this one right here, we can stretch. And we can stretch this one. And then discover the eight most important metrics because we want to put attention on that. And we are going to make it the same color as the background. So we have to go back to our text. That background color, I think was that color. Oops going way too fast for myself. Paste. I hope you guys are keeping up. All right. So what I also want to do is I want to make this slightly a uh, number one blur. Maybe I can do that. Select. So it stands out. You guys can see it stands up nicely. We can even highlight this section here and make it white if we want to. 
but again, you can play around with what is best for you. And we also can click, maybe make it a little bit standing out, re-report. You can actually make this even bigger than what it is so that it, you can pull, get the attention on this thing. And we can move down this box. And I want to justify it in this box, the same size, free report. Now you guys can see it's starting to get a lot nicer than the page that we have in the IDPLR. So now we are going to go and grab another image here. You could have copied that one, but I'm just going to do that. And I'm right clicking. And I'm going to go grab the precious one there. And then we're going to make it smaller. And we can make it even smaller. Now your text doesn't have to be this small, guys. I'm going to use a ruler. You'll line it up a little bit more for us. All right, so now we can start duplicating this item. And we can add it to every one. Oops, I'm going way too fast again. Duplicate again. And we duplicate again, because there's a lot of benefits here. And one, two more times. Duplicate again. It's actually an easier way to do this if you use another ruler on the side as well. But I don't want to take too much time at this stage to explain how all of that work. So I'm going to take it away. Now we've got all of that ready. We need to move this down. I'm going to move this slightly down. Just wait for it. Move this down. I'm going to click and I'm going to pull it. And we can put it nicely there. I just want to line it up again. Stretching it. That's what we got so far. So I'm just going to click Save. We need to be click Save happy. And what does Shirley always say? Save is your friend. Because now, now something happens, and then we have a huge problem. So now we've got that so far. Now we need to make a plan with our little book. And just two seconds. I don't know if my internet is a bit slow with streaming with the Zoom as well. All right. So now you can see how beautiful that looks already. Now we need to connect uh, this email now or the email marketing form. Now when you go through the testing peer, uh, testing setup. Like Bridget showed yesterday in her uh, training, there is a way that you can go double check in your email marketing uh, workflow when you do the field pages to go add the links there if this is not working. But I will show you if how we go through it now. If we go, let me just go quickly to this index. I just want to close the index and go to Cheetah Autoresponder and tell you the fields that I'm talking about. So if we go to the fields, I'm talking about these pages right here. The subscription confirm, this page is right here. Now, if we go to our list right here, which one is it there? And we right click and we go to this little link. And you click on it, you're going to see it says subscribe pending, subscribe confirm, and unsubscribe confirm. So these are re is basically exactly these things here. So if you test it, you test your site and it doesn't work, you can always come back here and go fix it up. So that's basically what this is all about. But she showed you step by step how to change that. But for today, because I'm doing the landing page, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, create it right here. So subscribe pending means they haven't confirmed yet. So we're going to click to no action yet. And we're going to go to a page. And it's confirm email page because the action hasn't been taken place yet. And then we're going to click select. Then for subscribe, once they have confirmed the email, what's going to happen? It's going to go to the download page. So that is what you need to do with those things. And you're going to click select and save. So that is basically what you need to do to make sure that this form works. You are, you can go and add, let me just click on it again. The unsubscribe confirm. There's multiple things that you can do. You can go back to mailing boss and you can go change it right there. Or you can create another page and write a very nice message asking, you know, why are you not, why are you unsubscribing? Are you unhappy? You can actually create a survey page there asking them uh, for what reason are they unsubscribing so that you can get some knowledge as to uh, what is happening to your pages and your clients. Why are they unsubscribing? So you can utilize that to your advantage. 
So we're going to save that. So that is now all set up. I'm going to hit save again. Now, when we talk about the mobile view, all right, so all of this is fine. If you go to mobile, the only thing that bothers would be these little big um, icons. So you can literally go and just hide those icons because you don't really need them and click on this little eyes. And another trick around them, I'm clicking so fast, another trick to get rid of them is to create all of this in text as an image. But I've only done that once or twice. When there's so many of these things, you don't want to do that. And now you can see why I've also highlighted it in black so that it can stand out. So we've got free reports sitting at the bottom. We don't want that there. We want it at the top. Discover the eight most, duh, 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 that is fine. We are going to need to move our form a little bit down. So how do we move that? We're just going to right click. And we are just going to move it a little bit up from the bottom because we want to get be able to put this link down. Let's just add this one lower from the top so we can move it. Move. All right, so there's our little book. Let's see if we can make this image a slightly bigger. You like that, that could be cool. And then we've got all of these that we still want to use. So we're going to drop that off to the bottom. Now, guys, if you added this in a block or in a box, you wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. But this is such an easy easy uh, page to do. So you can see all of it is there. It looks quite nice. We're going to go back. We're going to hit save. And now we're done with this page. Now the two last pages is going to be quite easy. We're going to say that's fine. So I'm just going to close this page and I'm going to leave. And there I gave you a preview of that. Now we're going to do confirm email. We're going to edit. And again, Build it all is awesome because they've done all the hard work for you. We just go and add buttons and images and all that fun things. So here we go. Grab our little booklet. And there is our booklet. And go back and grab our background color there. Copy it. Right click. Background. Go change that background so that we can have consistency. All right, I'm just going to move this up slightly because we don't need to have such a huge page. All right, I'm going to I leave it like that. You can actually change that to the orange if you want to. But you know what? I like it that way. So I'm just going to delete that and delete that. And just one more step. Please open the email. You've just and what you also can add here maybe is something like um, instructions on please go check your inbox your spam folder all those kind of things so i'm not going to go into more detail right here you can just move it around to fit your needs there and that's basically all you're going to get save and that's fine and now we're going to go to our uh, download page as just leave because we already saved it all right and again, everything's done for you. Right click, general settings, change the image, grab book. And we're definitely not going to say Ornara Masa. That's not going to work right. <laughs> now, this download button, we need to change it a bit because I don't think that is a great way to go. And because we want consistency and we've got that orange button on the previous page, it is a good idea to have that as well as orange. So let's just go to. Where am I now? Not there. I'm going past it. I'm doing our colors. And I think the color that I used is what I'm doing now is definitely not the right way to do it, but I know it's around that color. Now you can go and change it to the darker green. So let's let's play around with it. Let's play around. So we've got the background settings. Let me just make sure I've grabbed the background color. Control V. I actually like the orange. I'm not going to change that orange to a lighter color because I want it to stand out. So you can add another quote here if you like. We can say thank you for your business. You can even as, add something here like uh, social media accounts and let the people start joining your social media. So that's just another idea or a tip that you can follow. So now here you're going to repeat 
what are they getting? Internet. In, uh, what am I doing? Internet marketing metrics. Can I have it? Because it already says download. But there's something that we missed on the previous page. And I'm going to show you what it is just now. So there you go. We don't want them to share it with friends. So we're going to take that out. And make sure that spelling is correct. Below, download by clicking on the button. Enjoy your digital. Now we need to link this button to wherever the download is sitting. So in this case, the download is sitting. Uh, let me just think, where did we add that? I think I'm going to grab, grab it just now. I don't have it right here. Let me go grab it quickly. Two seconds. Oh, no, it's here. It's here. Did I close it? I think I closed. There we go. So website, uh, internet marketing, ebook. And there it is. And we're going to right click on it. Right click, get the link. Make sure that it's anyone with a link. Copy. Go back to our cheetah. Go to the link. Add the URL. And we're going to click select. We're going to hit save. But before we do that, I'd like to enlarge this a little bit again for consistency. Now you can move this down a little bit. You see perfection kicks in as well. So, But we've got a little bit of time. So that's save. And that's fine. And now we're going to go back. So we've got our three pages, but there's something very important that we forgot. And also, we can actually make this text right here. We can really increase that text because that's very slow or very small. So click Save again. That's fine. And very important point, and that's why I'm giving you that worksheets, that once you've created your pages, you're going to go back to those worksheets, and you're going to go through those worksheets, and you're going to check if there's something that you've missed. Now, for an example, I've been talking about how important this call to action is and that you should not use boring things like subscribe or submit. And that is exactly register now. I mean, seriously, it's register now for what? So you need to make sure that you change that to something that is interesting and that's going to want them, make them to click. So let's go and right click and just go change the, um, the headline or the button number. We're going to say grab your free copy now. I'm sure you guys can think of something better than that. And I am going to increase the size. All right, as you can see, and we're going to click Save. So now we basically, we've created all the pages. Everything is hunky-dory, but there's something that's missing here. Now, remember, what is very important as well, because we are collecting information, there are certain pages that are missing right here. So if we go take a look here, we've got the lead magnet, the confirm, and the download. But what about our terms and conditions and our legal pages? So because you are collecting people's information, you have to have a privacy policy and a terms and conditions. And that's exactly what you're going to do now. The only difference is we are not going to recreate everything. I'm just going to duplicate this download page. I'm going to go into this page. And this is now where you're going to. Once you get this funnel, you can just go and change and adjust it slightly to fit your needs. So what I'm doing is now I am just going to delete that. I'm deleting that and all the content right there and the book right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to panels. Now, most of the time, people already have their own legal pages. But if you don't, you can find it right here. And there's legal pages. And we've got the privacy policy right there. And I've just added it twice because that's how important it is. Let me just delete the one. All right. So there's your privacy policy right there. And only thing that we're going to do is we actually want this color at the background, this inside there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up because I still want it to look nice. All right. Bring the policy wording up and bring this box up. Right, so you can play around with it slightly, make the image smaller, bring it in there, bring that down. Actually, we're going to delete this section here. We don't want that panel. And then, because we need to move this panel down, 
All right. And remember to change the company address details because you don't want, um, it says company, that's not very professional. So we're gonna click on this form and we're gonna bring it down just like that. And there's your privacy policy. Nicely done, we're gonna hit save. And remember for all these pages, when you get the sales funnel, we need to make sure that it looks cool on mobile. So we will do that quickly, quickly. Close. Let's just check what it looks like mobile. One page at a time, privacy policy. There's not really much you can do there. That's perfect. Go back. All right. Let's just go to confirm email. I don't know if I saved. And be waiting for a little bit. And I hope you guys are still there because it's dead quiet. All right, so let's go check if this mobile page is fine. Just one more step, just open the email. Da -da 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 -da, and that looks fine, except for that one, I would prefer to have it up. And we can have this slightly bigger. You guys can see how easy, oh, we are mapping it. You can see how easy this is to create something amazing with Build It All. So we're gonna click there. And we've done confirm, we've gone, we haven't done the download page. So save and exit, save and exit. Okay, I said save and exit. Here's the download page. I am way too fast. Download page. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's go check a look. So that looks fine, except I prefer to have that slightly bigger. And I always press on general settings. For the life of me, I don't know why. Uh, we can't do it. It's lateral spacing on this one. There we go. And go back and hit save. But we're not really done yet. That's fine. Guys, bear with me. We're almost done. Almost done. So close. We're going to go out there. We're going to go back. Now we've got the... Download page, but there's a download page copy. So let's go edit the settings because this is your privacy policy. I think privacy policy, privacy policy, privacy policy. I'm going to hit save. All right. And again, I don't like it there. So I'm going to sort it because I want to move it and swap it around and save sort. Actually, privacy policies there. Now we're going to duplicate it because it's in the perfect format that we want. We're going to go and to settings. And this is going to be the terms of use. Terms of use. Terms of use. Terms of use. Hit save. Cool bananas. Go into it. Now we're going to do exactly the same that we did previously. No, this is not terms of use. Did we duplicate the wrong one? Let me just check. Terms of use, privacy policy. Let me just go check what it looks like. Because I pr probably duplicated the wrong page. No, I didn't. Let's go check that one. See, even we get confused. Not we, me. All right, so I have renamed the wrong one. So this is the privacy policy, and that is the download. And you could have told me that, right? So this is privacy policy, privacy policy, privacy. I don't want to get confused. Okay, so that's the privacy policy, and this is the download page. Sorry, guys. Download. Download, download. All right, so we've got that. And now I'm just going to delete this terms of use because that's the wrong one. And I hope I am now right what I'm doing here. Seriously. So let's go check. Duplicate. Edit. Now we're just going to go and grab the terms of use. Of course, remember this one. We're going to delete. I'm going to delete. We can leave the image. It's fine. 
panels. Add a panel. We just want to wait for it to come up. There we go. Landing page. No, not landing page. Where are you? Legal pages. There we go. And we've got terms of website use. I think that's the one that we need. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to grab the wording. And I'm just going to stretch it. And we're going to grab that one. And we can put it there. And this banner we can remove. And we can make sure that this is right. Remember to change the address details and we've got it and we save. But we're not done. Now you guys can see why I did not do the footer. Because if I did not have links for the terms of use and the privacy policy, I wouldn't be able to put it in the footer. And then I have to go up and down, up and down between the two. So now we've got this all done. We've got all of this created. We're going to go to footer now. Where is your footer? Create a footer. Internet marketing. We're going to click save. Edit that footer. Now we're going to add a panel and a blank one. While it adds, we're going to go grab the background color again. We are going to right click. And I'm just waiting for it. Just waiting for it. Right click. Background. Control V. Remove that. And we're going to have our own little text there. Now, obviously, you need to put your business name there as well. So for this case, I'm just going to write the terms and conditions, terms of use, and privacy policy. Now, you can change that to your heart's content. So I'm just going to write privacy, click for link, go to the privacy policy, and save. Terms of use, click on the links, look for terms of use. I've got two privacy policies. One is terms of use. I've named it incorrectly. Let me just check quickly. Where am I? Where am I? I've gone out of it. It's because I always keep too many open, right? We'll go call, call them both. Like that one needs to be terms of use. Terms of use. Save. And I hope this is the right one. All right, so now we can go and link it to the terms of use. We're probably going to have to refresh. So there's terms of use. And we can make sure. I'll just double click. I just want to put it in the middle and grab it there. Up there, bring it smaller, sizes. Now, I like to make this stand out. I mean, I don't think that whether it's right or wrong, I just want it to stand out. So we've got it there. We're going to hit save. And that's fine. All right, so all of that's done. Now we're going to go back to our home page, save and exit, so that we can get there. All right, so what we're going to do now is you're going to click on this little buttons right here and we are going to go to settings. I'm going to scroll down and choose the header and footer. So either I am, I am, I am, I am. And I'm just going to click save. I'm just going to make sure all of it is there. Yeah. So we're just going to click save and we're going to save. Then we're going to just want to go to the next one. Make sure you save it all and everywhere. I'm going to scroll down. Yes, yes, and save. Oh, Jackie. And then the footer as well. I don't really know that if you click once, if it's going to save all of them. I actually don't know that, to be quite honest. Uh, confirm email. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, where are you? 
Well, we'll see. Let's test it out. Let's test this theory because I don't know if it's going to save it all. But we'll see just now if we go test it. Settings. And I am, I am, I am save. All right. I don't know. I think if I've done all of them, but it doesn't matter. Let's go publish. All right. Remember, if you make any changes to your headers and footers, you must always go and republish. All right. So what we're going to do now is I just want to close too many of them that's open. Uh, we're going to go to the lead magnet, go to the website page. And look how pretty that looks. OK, so it didn't save the one at the edit, but this is the wrong color. We need it to be that color. So let's go back. And now we can do the republish thing as well. So let's go to footer. I chose the wrong color. Grab, grab that header color there. And I keep going to the wrong place. Footer. Right click. General. Not that words, that one right click. Background. Control V. That's the color we want. Now that privacy policy, you can change to be black or something. Oops, Daisy. Black and save. And that's fine. And we're going to go out there. And I've gone out again. How cool is that? I keep going out. All right, so let's go see what it looks like now. Internet marketing. Remember, we changed it, so we need to republish. And now we're going to go to the website page. And that here we go. See how nicely this was done. This is awesome. So now you can put in your details and your email address and grab your free copy. And it says one more step. So you need to go and go to confirm your email address. And once it's confirmed, it's going to redirect you to the other page. And that's basically it. Then you've created your whole funnel and you're ready to start sending traffic to it. So I think there's quick, quick time. I'm going to show you quickly what we have done for you. So let me just close out all those pages that there's not so many open. Uh, this is what you're going to get once uh, Gene is finished with his training tomorrow. You will get all of this. And you'll see 34 days of email marketing training, which is awesome. And you will see that on day, these day is day one, day two, day three, day four was the last two days, mine and Jean's. And then from day five up until six of them, I think it's Bridget's training. The next six is mine. The next is Jean and, and then Kick and um, Terry. So all of our details are right sitting right there. So it is quite exciting. And I hope that you guys are going to go and watch these trainings because it is really awesome. And once you've done this, you will never ask a question on email marketing again because we have really gone the extra mile to show you guys absolutely everything. So let me stop sharing my screen. And I hope people are not asleep. <laughs> that was so I wasn't good. sleeping. <laughs> that was so good. And there's a lot of people commenting inside the group. So it's absolutely fabulous. Um, that is a great walkthrough of how to build your opt-in funnel using Cheetah Funnel Builder and then building from there. And you also gave so many nuggets about how to pull things in, resize, adapt for the mobile, the global header and global footer. Y'all, these are great tools to know how to use inside of Cheetah. And she ran through them just beautifully for you to learn a lot of tips and tricks just in the Cheetah Builder alone. So now you've had some training on the foundations of email marketing. You had some training on how to set up your subscriber list and your email sequence. Now you've got training on how to build your landing page and the complete opt-in funnel. So you are good to go. You should be able to take everything that you've gotten in the last three days and build your funnel and build your email sequence and set up your subscriber list. And you should be ready to go to start collecting emails. So I challenge you, I think all of us would like to challenge you to take what you learned in the last three days and build your own opt-in funnel. You can do it. This is a really easy one to do. So get in there and dig in and do it. And we're going to be back tomorrow with Gene. And so let's go over real quick what Keck taught us about uh, when it comes to emails, right? We have double opt-in and single opt-in. Now, single opt-in can be great, but uh, not that great when you want a good quality lead that's going to be responsive and it's going to open your emails, right? And you have then your double opt-in, 
and that is when you get your lead to go through a page and then they have to go to their email and actually you know confirm that they want to receive emails from you so that you know that that lead is actually is worth something to you and they're going to open your emails because they already did the first thing and it's actually go check their email confirm that they're going to receive emails from you so you guys definitely go over that and remember depending on, on what you're doing but the best like like we say here the best one is your double opt-in so that your lead is actually a good qualified lead all right now with bridget she showed us how we can create email sequence simple and easy uh, with mailing boss and the workflow and how you can have a template now here we have in uh once you guys get to finish this you know we give you actually everything that we just went through right so bridget wrote the emails jackie created the funnel so you guys get that so that's a little a little gift from us to you right new year new list and we're still in the holidays so merry christmas as well so that's our gift to you so you guys will be able to get those emails so that you know you start um, you hit the ground running and what i'm going to show you guys is that you're actually going to be able to have access to a lot more than what we actually did for the past uh, three days, four days today. Uh, you'll be able to do all this instantly. The only extra thing they're going to have to do is, of course, uh, create the emails because we just provided you the funnels with a simple click. And I think uh, it was James Taylor that he calls it auto magically. I think that's his word. So I'm just going to give him give him the credit. OK, so you guys are probably watching this. No, not probably. You are watching this here in our in our webinar broadcast room. And I just want to say hi to everybody. Hello, hello, Buffalo, uh, Maria. Hello, Terry. Well, Terry, I know you. Pauline, hello, Daryl. So now if you guys scroll below here, you're going to see right here that we have our email list. This is where you guys can actually watch the replay, OK? And also the extra 31 days of training and email on email marketing. And then this button right here, guys, if you're not part of the funnel club, I cannot emphasize how much you guys need this because what I'm going to show you in a few minutes requires you to have the funnel club. And right now, don't wanna, you don't want to miss on getting the funnel club because we have a promotion right now where you are actually getting the funnel club for $69.90 and then $69.90 a month instead of the initial normal $199 and then $99 a month. So don't forget, click on this button if you're not part of the uh, funnel club, but also just uh, a little note, if the sorry the the promotion actually is only for brand new uh, customers if i'm not mistaken okay so if you already have a builder account and you haven't upgraded to the funnel club uh not, i don't think you qualify for this promotion but either way upgrade to the funnel club because you're gonna want to get the funnel club all right we have so many funnels over here and i'm just gonna show you guys a couple of the funnels before i actually show you what I'm going to show you. I know I'm, I'm prolonging it because it's just so simple, so easy. Uh, this, this little training will be done in like a minute or two. But I'm just going to show you guys what you get access to the funnel club. So right here, I'm part of the funnel club. You see that we have here premium build oral funnels for those of you guys that want to be able to create um, commissions with the build oral uh, affiliate program. Then here we have niche funnels. Here we have the niche funnels. And it's a little bit slow since I have all these things open. And as you can see, you have the dental cleaning, you have photography, real estate, tutor. Then we have agency funnels, info product funnels. These are nice. So if you guys are into Forex, creating books, professional, um, what is it? Confection course. And let's see what else. We have multi level marketing. That's nice. I'm part of a multi level marketing, and I do have a group. And also we have links to each of the groups um, in the e-learning course that we have. So you guys can get in there, request, make sure you answer the three questions so you can get approved. Then we also have an amazing chatbot funnels. And here, as you can see, we have chatbots for animal care, our gallery, uh, banking, blogger, which is a whole bunch. I think it's more than 30 chatbots. And then of course the funnel builder, but now, now guys, we're going to take everything that we learned from Jackie, from Keck, from Bridget, and we're actually going to go right here.
to where you see where it says lead capture funnels. So now we've learned that we might want to go to certain websites, whether it's IDPLR, PLR.me, I think that's the other one. You guys can do the search. It can take you a couple of hours, maybe a couple of days, uh, and then you have to download it. And most of these memberships, uh, you either have to pay per product or you pay for a whole year or monthly. But guess what? You are a Funnel Club member. And if you aren't, make sure you get Builder All with the Funnel Club, all right? So we did you guys a solid. We actually have PL, basically PLR products here. Right? We have PDF books for uh, certain niches. We have intermittent fasting right here. Then we have tax return, learn to read fast, um, senior care, exercise at home. So this is really good for people that are in the health and wellness niche. So if you want to grow your MLM, your network marketing business, or maybe you are a coach yourself, but you don't have a PDF book right, that you want to share with somebody to give it for free so that you can collect the lead and then you know, send them emails about your specific product, you can get something like this, exercise at home, right? a little PDF book, or maybe do intermittent fasting. What else do we have here? Um, a whole bunch, okay, marketing consultant, speaking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick one over here. Let me look at the chats. Can you turn down the of your mic? I'm getting feedback. Is it my speaker? Do well, you guys any get, getting any feedback? Is everything good? It, it's just a little bit of static, Gene. It's just a little bit of static. So it's probably a little bit too hot. Okay, let me let me do something for you guys. Let me close this. It might be bones. Now you guys should hopefully hear me better. So far, so good. Awesome. All right, then I got to report that to Booze. <laughs> All right, so here I'm going to choose one that's very common, very simple, right? Uh, we have the intermittent fasting, not oh, this one. I like this one, the colors, either or. So guys, this is what I mean by automatically, that you get these funnels instantly into your back office. You click this right here where it says download this funnel. And as you saw, uh, Jackie had to create the pages, design it. Now, I myself am not a great designer uh, or create beautiful pages like maybe Jackie does, or maybe some of you guys do. But I like that Builderall already kind of is setting up our, our funnels for us right here. Oh, wait, that's not it. Sorry. That's the wrong one. It's under unpublished. So here we have the unpublished funnel with all the information that we need, the design, the look. Now. You might want to change maybe the colors because maybe uh, your your colors for your brand might not be this light green. Maybe it might be a little bit darker. So you might want to do a couple of changes, but that's all on you. But everything here that you need is already there. So here we're going to look at uh, the, the home page. But first, let me actually publish it so that we can actually see it and preview it. So this is the home page. This is where you guys are going to collect the lead, you know, their name and email, and download the ebook now. I didn't have to do none of this. I didn't have to write it. I didn't have to design it because I'm part of the funnel club. I have access to this funnel, and the ebook is already there. I don't have to download it. So I would put my name and email, but right now, if I were to do that, it's not going to work because I haven't connected it to any list yet. Okay, so what we need to do is actually connect it to a list. So let's go to Edit Home. Stop the way. <laughs> that is automatically. <laughs> All right, so right here we are in the editor. So the good thing is, once you get this funnel transferred to your account, you actually get a list already uh, attached to this funnel. So when I click right here on the list, as you can see here, it says intermittent copy. So I just have to select it. And then I can click on set link to make sure that everything is going where it's supposed to go. Right? You, I know the, the system is great and you know build all the, basically all the work for us, but it's always great to double check because you never know errors happen. You know, it's technology, so things happen. So subscribers pending. This is once they put in their email, where are you going to send them? You're going to send them to the pending page where you're telling them, hey, go check your email. 
so that you can confirm to receive this free PDF book that I'm giving you. So that's correct. So I can just press select. Then the subscriber has been confirmed. So now when they go to their email, click on that confirm button, where is it going to go? Well, it's going to go to the thank you page, which as you can see, it's already selected here. So we know we're good. It's working, it's safe. Now, the only thing that's not here selected is the unsubscribe confirmed. So this is up to you. Here, when someone is getting your emails, they don't want to be subscribed anymore. So they're gonna click that little unsubscribe button on the bottom of the email. So where do you wanna send them? So you can either create a separate unsubscribe page telling them, hey, you know, thank you for being a subscriber. Sorry to let, to see you go and so on. That's up to you. Or you can send them maybe back home because maybe they don't remember what this was for. So just for training purposes, I'm gonna send them back home if they were to unsubscribe. So they can say, oh wait, this is that intermittent fasting ebook. Yeah, I wanna stay subscribed to this. Let me resubscribe to it. So I'm gonna save that. All right, so we have that now. All that is said and done. And let's save. Save as we all know it is our best friend. It's our homie. And let's go test it out. All right, so let's do my name. Actually, yeah, this is that email. And let's press download. It's not loading. Let me refresh. Oh, wait. It's going. There you go. All right. So I guess just my, the whole internet is slow since I'm using the camera and Zoom. So I'm going to go check my email. It's really slow. That's the wrong email. Let's go to this one. Shelly says, if you test your phone, you will get a download ebook. Yes, definitely. That's why we want to test. Before we share our links to anybody, we always want to test, 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 test three times, and then test one more for good luck. All right, so as you can see, this is you receive your ebook, lose weight, and confirm email address. Now, if you remember from uh, Bridget's training, she showed you how you guys can uh, change what it says there. And then this is the download page, which is the thank you page. And then right here, start download. If I click on it, it takes me straight to that ebook that I want to read. And as you saw, I never downloaded anything to my computer. Uh, I could if I want to, right? Uh, I can save this, but it's already inside the Builderall platform. It's in their servers. And if you wanted to see, uh, let's go back to the page. If I were to go to the thank you page, you see right here on the button, once this loads, that, da, 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 come on, load. Maybe I should close all these, all these tabs that I have. All right, so here we go on start download. I should be able to click on it. Once it loads up and click on set link. And then you see right here, this is the link where they'll be able to download and see the PDF. So as you saw, I didn't have to do basically anything. I have to put that there. So like I said before in the beginning, Builder basically gives you a cheat code um, or gives you a shortcut so that you guys can use these uh, eBooks where you can collect and grow your email list. Now, all depending on your niche, whether you're in the um, health and wellness, weight loss, MLM, uh, what else is out there? Uh, relationships, whatever it is that you're trying uh, to grow your list for, right? We have, where is it? We have a whole bunch of uh, PDF books here, funnels, uh, lead magnet, lead capture funnels or lead magnet funnels, whatever you want to call it, so that you can start using it. And like I said, for you to hit the ground running, right? And we're helping you here by actually holding your hand as you're running because you saw, we taught you how to do it yourself by actually searching for all these, you know, uh, PDF books on PLR websites, then how to create the funnel, how to create the emails. And speaking of emails, 
let's actually go so I can show you guys on the autoresponder, the emails and where you would actually go. Because like I said, once you transfer the funnel, it gives you a list already attached to it, but you just don't have emails. So there, that's the only extra work that you have to do. But uh, when you when you get the book, right, there are a whole bunch of things here that you can actually read and incorporate into your emails, right? Because maybe maybe the person that got the book didn't read the whole thing. So maybe you want to remind them and give them uh, a couple of tips from the actual PDF book that, that they got. But as you can see, here is the list, okay? The list is created and you can rename it. If you don't know how to rename it, just click here and update. And as you can see, here is the name. So let's actually change the name right here. And we're going to call it uh, New Year, New List, uh, Fasting. That's what we're going to call it. Let's copy this and display name and also description. And let's save changes. And then maybe you want to collect more than one field. Maybe you want to collect the name, uh, last name, and email. And you have the order here. Here you have the name and email. Maybe you want to change the orders. You have that. You have control of that. And then right here, this is the pages that you guys learn with, uh, with Bridget. So when they get the email, maybe you want to change this right here on the subscribe confirm email. All right. So here is the tag where it's going to display their name. This is the name of your ebook or your funnel, whatever you want to call it, you can change it. So it can be to receive your ebook copy of, right? We, we called it New Year, New List Fasting. Let's just name it like that. Now, of course, the ebook is not named that, but this is just for training purposes to show you guys that you can edit that email that they receive. Then this is the confirm, right? This is a URL, so you don't want to edit this. Uh, you can maybe confirm, uh, change the, the, the wording. Instead of it saying confirm address, uh, maybe you wanted to say confirm. Whoops. Hold on. Let's just make it easy. Confirm to receive, receive emails. And I'm not a great speller, as you can see. Uh, let's make it easy. Confirm to get your emails. Get your emails. And let's take this off. And then sincerely here, you can add your name. So I'm just going to add Gene Hackett. And then let's save. So now when they enter their information and they get an email, they're going to get this instead of that other email that you guys saw, which is right here, as you can see. But I'm not gonna opt in again and test it. Uh, there's no point you guys already know. And let's go back to the dashboard. So now we wanna create emails for it. And this is just a reminder because Bridget taught you guys this, right? You wanna go to the flow, you can give it a name, fasting, and then your list, and let's select our list, choose, and where is our list? New year, new list right here, and okay. And then you go on and create your emails. So depending if you're going to send a whole bunch of emails, uh, you would want to do a, either an order, um, what's called email sequence, which I don't have an email sequence, so I would create an email sequence right here and I can call it fasting and number of messages. Maybe you want to send six emails. And I like to do to current and future subscribers. Since I don't have any subscribers, it's okay. So I would create and then, okay. And as you can see now, I have six emails created and I just have to go in there and edit each of them uh, and add whatever I need for a specific email that's going to be sent out. And as uh, Bridget also told you guys, uh, you want to activate them because as you can see, it says pause right here. So activate your emails before you do, before you think that your email autoresponder is not working. All right. So guys, that's how simple it is. And I also want to show you guys, where is it? Let me open it up again. Where's the broadcast room? 
that is actually how simple it was, right? We, we didn't take that long to uh, to get our, our PDF book set up, our funnel set up because it was already done, designed for us. So what I wanna show you guys is through this course that you guys are going to see here, right? The 31 days that we're giving you guys, right? To rewatch the lives, you have it right here, right? On the left side, the day live one, two, three, four. But then we have more training and this is written training because, you know, this is email, right? To grow your email. So we have a lot of written content. And what's great about having all this written content, guys, this is just a little tip for you. All the written content, you can actually grab it. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, Shelly, uh, you can correct me, right? This content is, I guess you want to call it um, white labeled, maybe, where you can actually grab this content that we're giving you guys, right? We all took the time to write this and, and give it to you guys. And you can actually go through it, read it, and repurpose it. Oh, wait, that's a video from Jackie. You could also definitely uh, love watching Jackie's video. But you can grab that content that we're giving you guys here and, and make it your own, right? You can grab this and send this to your brand new email list that you are growing right now. And maybe you want to provide them some value. So you want to tell them about lead magnet mistakes to avoid. If your niche, of course, is you know something about that where you're teaching people how to get better at their funnels, uh, how to create better lead magnets. So here you have free content that we're giving you guys that you can repurpose, you can read it, rewrite it, and use it. So uh, Shelly, correct me if I'm wrong, are they allowed to use this? Let me stop sharing the screen. Sorry, sorry, it took me a second to find all my buttons. <laughs> um, this is something that you definitely want to repurpose. Don't take it word for word but use this as an educational tool to help you understand what the points are that you need to cover. So this type of material lends extremely well to videos. So for example, the one you showed just a few minutes ago, Gene, that had all the different bullet points of you know the nine reasons why you do this or the 15 reasons you wanna do that, those are perfect videos. So take that information and repurpose it into videos, but don't take it word for word because you need to put your own spin on it, your own uh, personality, your own flair, anybody can take information and copy it, right? It's out there in the internet. It's all there. And this is out in the internet right now too. So don't copy it word for word. Take it and make it your own information. Same way with these um, lead magnets that you've got in these funnels. These are incredible downloads. I would, if I were you today, you can do this actually today. You can set up every single one of those lead magnet funnels and get your own access to each one of those downloads and start building videos off of those downloads so that you can start promoting that funnel that you just put together on YouTube, on the new um, uh, Clubhouse that is out there, if you haven't joined Clubhouse yet, um, on Periscope, on WhatsApp, on Telegram. You can start putting this information out about just giving little tips and, and tricks and then send them to this funnel where they get to download this whole ebook with all of the information in there. They get to download it for free and you got them as a lead on your subscriber list so you can start actually promoting your own products. So these lead magnet funnels are actually super duper powerful in so many different ways, not just to collect leads, but as a resource, the ebook itself to put little snippets out there and then send them to your funnel so that they can get the rest of the snippets that are in that ebook. So it's a fabulous, fabulous resource. I see here, uh, Terry talked about um, PDF candy. PDF candy is actually really good. You can grab a PDF and convert it either to Word document so you can re rewrite it. After you rewrite it, you can actually use PDF candy to create that Word document into a PDF. And Lisa, Luis says, do you need to create a separate list for each PLR product? Well, after you download each uh, uh, lead magnet, right? It actually comes with a list so that you don't mix and, and you know, confuse your, your list that, you're, that you have within your mailing boss. So each of them, like I just downloaded the fasting one, it came with a list and then I changed the name. If I were to download the uh, network marketing one, it will come with a list and then I just attach emails to that list so that it's congruent with what I am actually giving them. But you don't want it, you don't want to download a network marketing uh, funnel and then they start receiving fasting emails. Right. It just doesn't make sense. So you and, always and want to have separate lists for each funnel. I mentioned in there, Gene, that there is an advanced way to actually send them to the same list, but that involves tagging, and that's an advanced method. So if you want to learn more about the advanced method of being able to send them to the same list, but tag them 
so that when you send out the fasting emails, they only go to the ones that are tagged with fasting. We can do that, but as a beginner, I wouldn't suggest that you do that. Learn to first create your list and send them to an independent list. And later you can learn how to kind of combine those lists and use tags. But that's definitely an advanced feature and you don't want to step into that yet. <laughs> Baby says, remember, we're, we're helping you guys here uh, to hit the ground running, but with our hands, but you don't want to run faster than we we are trying to help you here because right? H is going to fall flat on your face. Right? So start <laughs> running a little bit slow. Anyway, right? This is entrepreneurship. So you will fall flat on your face at some point anyway, because that's what we do. We, we as entrepreneurs fall flat on our face and then we get up, we shake the dust off and we keep going. Um, and that's just the way it is. But this lead magnet funnel, um, this is probably the easiest entry into affiliate marketing, network marketing, online marketing, digital marketing, all of it starts with thinking about the email list because it's the thing that's gonna keep driving your business. So think about it this way. If you've got a product that you wanna sell, there's only so many of those products that you're gonna sell and then you're kind of tapped out, right? You, you used up your audience and you used up your, your resources and that's not a product that's really gonna sell anymore. A lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs don't understand that once that single product is, is done, you put it out there, you've sold it and you're done, they don't understand that they got to rebuild again and rebuild again and rebuild again and rebuild again. But if you have an email list, what you've got is a bunch of rabid fans that bought your first product so that when your second product comes out, which you always are creating in this entrepreneurial field, you're never going to stop if you want to make money. So the next product that you make, you can offer that to the existing list. And when you put it out there, you're going to keep adding to your list. That's what this is all about. I hate to burst some people's bubbles, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> this is not a one and done thing. Let me promise you that. This is not a one and done thing. You cannot create the magical ebook or the magical product or the magical membership area or the magical whatever you think you're going to create. And then you're going to sit on easy street for the rest of your life. This is an ongoing process. And where it starts is the email list. This is what's going to keep the ball rolling for you. Because once you create that first product, you bring in people that are rabid fans. They bought your product. They're interested in your product. Yay, you. Now that product is done. It's still out there. It's still making you a little bit of money, but you're going to create another product to add on to that. So you've got the existing customers and any new ones that you bring in. So you're compounding your list as you go. That's the magic of the email list. It's the absolute magic of the email list. Right, Jane? Yep. And you guys have 31 days of email training. So now after today, take every day. Um, I know some of you guys might just take a day or two and go through everything. But, uh, you know, you want to take what you see and not just read it, right? Because I know people say knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is the real power. Because you can learn and learn and learn. But if you don't apply, you actually haven't learned anything. And that's why, you know, we have all this written content here uh, in the e-course training that you can actually go through it, read it, then go through it again and be like, you know what? Uh, on day 28, I loved what I learned there. I can actually create a YouTube video and hitting these five points and say it in your own words, add your own spice, add your own style, right? You can either grab your camera, your webcam, or you can grab what, what do we all have that rings? Can anybody tell me in the chat? What do we have? Let's see if I see the chat right here. Um, it's probably going to take a while, <laughs> but a phone. <laughs> yeah, we have our phones. Grab your phone, either get a tripod or put it on a book or just hold it. Just don't shake too much. So don't, don't have coffee if you get jittery coffee. <laughs> but yeah, just play this somewhere and record real quick, right? What you just learned, put it on YouTube and then go to your affiliate section, grab your builder affiliate. And you know what you could do? You can actually grab this and cookie it and be like, hey, I'm giving you guys a 30, what is it, 34 days total? 34 days total training on email marketing. Uh, yeah, you can kind of, claim it as your own. Don't say that you created it, but that you're giving them access to a amazing 34-day email marketing. Thanks to all these amazing people here on the screen. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and for you guys that are just uh, brand new to Builderall and maybe you haven't bought an account yet, so you don't have any one of the plans, you're just on the free plan and you're just kind of scoping it out and deciding if it's for you. Well, first of all, let me say emphatically, it is for you. If you're considering building a business, this platform is for you. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you time. It's going to give you things that you never imagined the company would just hand over to you, like 35 days of training, free, right? So um, if you're not a paid member already, you can actually go below this video. There's a link to join Builderall. 
And if you click that link right now, that takes you to the Funnel Club offer where you'll be able to purchase the Funnel Club for the price of the premium plan. Now, let me tell you what, what the special hubbub is about that. The hubbub is that with the Funnel Club, you get all of the tools. We're not gonna hide any tools from you. You get all of them. You're also gonna get every single thing that Gene showed you in that affiliate area. So you're gonna get all the build raw premium funnels. You're gonna get all the niche marketing funnels, the web agency funnels. You're gonna get the lead magnet funnels. You're gonna get all the chat box and everything else that's in that area. That's worth thousands and thousands of dollars just by itself. But then you're also gonna be automatically approved as a build raw affiliate. So instead of having to apply to be an affiliate, you're automatically approved. That alone is a huge incentive because now you have every single tool, every single funnel that Builderall has, plus the ability to promote Builderall as an affiliate. So if you are an existing member that's free, not paid, you can actually upgrade. For those of you that are paid members, but you're not a Funnel Club member, you can upgrade, but it's gonna cost you $130 to upgrade now. And all you'll have to do is click that upgrade button inside the dashboard, and you can choose to upgrade to the Funnel Club. And because you're already an existing member, um, you do get a discount of the $69. So you'll actually have $230 to upgrade. So that is the skinny on the Funnel Club and why we really encourage you guys to upgrade to that if at all possible, because you get all those done for you funnels, including the lead magnet funnels. And I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna tell you, I have every single one of those funnels up and running and they get me leads every single day. Every single day they get me leads. And those leads I use for different, different purposes. So, um, and remember that there's all kinds of different funnels in there. So you've got intermittent fasting funnel and you've got, uh, I think there's a how to get a girlfriend inspect funnel or how to talk to girls or something like that. And uh, how to be a senior caregiver and what are the best travel destinations. And so there's, there's a ton of lead magnets in there that you can start collecting emails so that you can do whatever you want for them. So if you have an underwater basket weaving course that you wanna sell, you could probably find something that's a lead magnet in there that it might be the right targeting, targeting group that you could offer that kind of course to them because the lead magnet kind of matches what that person is, would buy as far as a course in underwater basket weaving. So all of these funnels are there for you. They're there for you to use. And the other fantastic thing is they're also templates. So like Jean said, you can take any one of them and switch them up really quick, add your own lead magnet, and it's ready to go in just a matter of minutes rather than you starting from scratch building it. So there's lots and lots of benefits to that lead magnet section. And what Kat, Bridget, and Jackie showed you in three days, uh, Jean showed you in like 10 minutes how you can build your own funnel and not have to do it all from scratch. So super duper exciting. All right, any questions that we have in the group, you guys, that we need to answer? So I see that they asked that um, the $130 that you pay uh, right now, is that a one-time charge? And it is a one-time charge you get charged $130 the one time, and then you'll continue to pay $69.90 each month. And that price is guaranteed for you. Um, as long as you're in Builder All, the price won't go up. So if you're already a paid member, like say you're a premium member, you're already paying $69.90 per month. You just pay that $130 one time, and then you continue to pay $69.90 and you are golden. You, you get the, the new Funnel Club and you get all of those benefits of the Funnel Club. Any other questions? This has been exciting, right? An exciting four days. Shelly, I'd like to say something. I'd like to remind everybody that once you're in the Funnel Club, doesn't mean that you get all of that value we have there now, but the value increases every, almost every week, yeah. definitely every month. We're continually adding resources back there. So it's definitely the time to get in now. Right, I totally agree that the price is only gonna go up, you guys. Um, after this promotion is off, the price is going up. And then the, the first of February, the price is gonna go up again. So for the Funnel Club, your best pricing is right now, right at this moment. And it lasts until January the 2nd. So you've got from now until January the 2nd to get this really great price on the Funnel Club and get all of those uh, funnels, all of the chat bots. The chat bots alone excite me because those alone, um, the value in just the chat bots, there's 30 of them. And you can set up a chat bot in minutes minutes that would take you weeks to put together for a company so um just that part alone is there's so much value so don't miss out on the value if you possibly can get into the funnel club you know i would never ever steer you wrong and whenever i'm promoting builder all it's not about the money that's not why we promote the funnel club we promote the funnel club because we know that that is the best opportunity to, to go any direction you want to go in builder all 
whatever you want to build, whatever you want to do, you'll have access to all the tools, all the funnels, everything that Builderall has to offer. So you can decide to go one direction, 10 directions, 15 directions, whatever you want to do um, to be able to build your business or build several businesses at once. Like some of us have several businesses. So um, super duper exciting. Anything uh, else you guys? I see that Addison said, uh, can the funnels get organic traffic or do you need referral and paid traffic? And I'm pretty sure we all can put a little bit on this. So I'll just say this, that uh, it could get organic traffic, right? When you connect the domain to it, then you have to make sure you have your SEO right. right? So the keywords that people are going to search on Google, Bing and all that. Uh, so it could get organic traffic. And also we have an amazing blog builder. You can build a blog, talk about it and link it to your website that has that lead magnet. Okay. Right. But you guys, what do you want to chime in on that? Um, there, you can do either way. Organic is the way I love to go. That's how I built my business is organically. And uh, Gina is exactly right. There's a lot of different areas in the website builder itself that allows you to set up SEO um, on the website itself and on each individual page. And of course, inside each article of the blog. So you've got several different directions to hit it from on SEO. And then not only that, we have our SEO on page uh, report tool. So you can build your website um, out and then run that report and see where the areas are that you can improve on your SEO. So that those two things are very valuable. And then the other big thing is organic traffic like YouTube, like TikTok, like Periscope, like um, this new uh, Clubhouse. Um, there's so many different ways that you can get traffic that don't cost you a dime. And if you are comfortable in, uh, in front of the camera, start shooting some videos and drop them into YouTube and get your channel. Um, I'm the living proof that you can be almost looking like death warmed over <laughs> and you can still get traffic to your videos and get organic traffic to your funnels. So um, it just takes you being brave enough to get in front of that camera and start talking. And what this team has done for you is they've given you information. So if you wanna focus on email marketing to drive people to maybe this course, or to an ebook about email marketing, you've got tons of resources right now to start shooting videos today. You can go right into this e-course, look at some of those bullet points and start creating emails like right now. As soon as we're done today, you can start shooting videos. And that would get you organic traffic to wherever you wanna send them to, whether it's to your funnel, to your product that you wanna sell, or to a Builderall affiliate link. Any one of those, you can get started today. Anything else you guys? <laughs> I, I like paid traffic too. I'm not against paid traffic, but I, I do want to, I want to tell you, I want to make sure you know if you're brand new, that whatever you want to do as far as a budget, definitely put a budget together. If you want to spend 200, 300 per month on, on a paid advertising, the, the thing I want you to understand is that you can count on losing that two to 300 in the beginning as learning how to do paid advertising. Um, I think everybody here has been through that where we've invested money and it was like, well, that didn't work out too well. Let me uh, back up and redirect and try it again. And, uh, and you just do that with paid advertising because there's targeting involved. And um, do you want to do this type of paid advertising or that type of paid advertising? Do you want to send them straight to a funnel? Do you want to send them straight to the offer? Do you want to send them to an opt-in page? Do you want to just get the click? Do you want to get the lead? Do you want to do a lead that's a official conversion? There, there's so much to it that when you talk about paid advertising, make sure you put a budget together that you're willing to lose that money. So don't say I'm gonna put $300 in there in the hopes that I'm gonna make $300. Um, put $300 with the knowledge that you're probably gonna lose that $300 as you're learning how to do paid ads. And then as you get better, that money will start coming back in for you. But all of us here have invested a lot of money in learning how to do paid ads. Bridget? I just wanted to say about paid ads, um, a lot of people think that, oh, I'll just run paid ads and that's going to be super simple. And it's really not because even if you outsource it, there's a lot that goes into, you know, your outsourcing and really, you know, even if you create your own copy, like what copy is going to work, you don't really know until you're running the ads and you do all the tests. And then there's the conversion part. So like, what does your opt-in page look like? What is the email confirmation process? What are your emails converting like? What's the sales page? All of those things go into a great paid ad. So so if you don't have all of those things great tested and all of that, um, you can get the best paid ads person on the planet and still lose money. 
Yep. So that's, I, I always tell people, don't even just expect it to be a learning thing. Don't expect to make money, but use that process as like a really great training uh, experience to learn and look at, use all of the um, the analytics and all of the things that we have in Builderall to track everything. So you can see, you know, where are people stopping in the funnel? So that's, I, I just, I, I was like so passionate about that because I know I have lost money. I know everybody here has lost money doing paid ads. So if you do outsource it, you know, don't say, oh, this person scammed me because I didn't make any money. There's so many steps to that, that you really have to have a good grasp. And, and maybe they did scam you. But if you don't know all of the analytics and all the back end stuff, you're never going to know that. So just be smart enough with paid ads to be dangerous, really, like Gary Vee says, um, even if you don't plan on doing them. So that's my spiel on paid ads. True. Jeff? Even before you do that paid ads, you have to be 100% sure you know your audience. Because even if you do the greatest ads and all those things and you haven't researched your audience, you can forget about success. Audience is really, really important too. Yep. And that's gonna and that is gonna take some testing. That's where this this whole thing of losing money comes in. Is you may not know your audience exactly, but you do need to come in with an idea. <laughs> you can't just say, I'm gonna hit all 18 to 65 year old, male and female, and I'm not gonna put any other criteria on it. Um, if you do that, what's gonna happen is your money's gonna go right out, You're, it's boom, right out. Um, so you need to start thinking about who. Frozen. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Here's the person <laughs> that was to it. <laughs> I was really getting into it too. But um, you can start with a generic uh, ad spend, but um, where you start with a generic audience, but you need to monitor those demographics like a hawk and open up Facebook and say, okay, who's watching my ads? Who's looking at my ads? Is it mostly males that are clicking? Is it mostly females that are clicking or is it pretty even? What are the age groups that are clicking? Um, what Do they own homes? Do they uh, own their car? Do they have children? Do they have jobs? All of that is information that's inside of, of uh, Facebook when you run Facebook ads. And it is a great way to start whittling down on who your audience really is. Yeah. What I've basically done as well is before I started with my Facebook ads is when you go to the Facebook groups and you join those groups and you start getting involved and you start to get a kind of a, a feel for what problems they have and you start communicating and you give some support to them. Those people start to look at you as an influencer and you start having a relationship and you can start asking questions in those groups to try and figure out what are those uh, pain points that they have and where those guys hang out. And all of these bits and pieces, you can, it's going to help you to, to create that perfect Facebook um, ad that you are planning. Because obviously you're gonna to have to write the best headlines, the right images, and all comes back to, like Shelly said, um, testing and testing. But you can really minimize it if you just get to research your audience a little bit more before you yep. jump into your Facebook ad. Absolutely. And is there ever a time, Jackie, that you would say that you're done testing and you got it, you got it perfect? Ever, because it's an ever-changing game. It keeps changing. And yep. that's why I always say start with a small amount. Don't go big and think, oh, I'm going to put two, three hundred dollars down. I'm just going to do the thing. You start small over a period of, let's say, a week or so, and you keep an eye on it. And even if that ad works, tomorrow or the next day, it might not work. So don't just leave it there because do things do change and it shifts very, very quickly in the market. So it never stops, unfortunately. That's right. And this is your business. So you have to figure these things out and work through them. And you're going to either do it yourself, which takes a lot of time. Are you going to hire people to do it, which takes a lot of money? And it's going to be somewhere in between, right? I've paid for people to do my ads for me, which was a lovely thing. It was a lovely thing, but it cost me a lot of money. So if I wanted to keep doing that, I would have to keep investing that money or invest my time to do it. It's going to be one or the other, you guys. I hate to give you that news, but it's going to be one or the other or a combination of both. So you have to decide how you want to get traffic. Once you build these lead magnet funnels, how do you want to get traffic there? And there's the organic method and the paid method. So now you've got, you've got kind of a little bit of a uh, rundown on how to get traffic to your, uh, to your lead magnet funnels. Also, if you go to the knowledge base and just type in the word traffic in the knowledge base in the search bar, you'll find that we've got training there on organic and paid methods for traffic. And can I interject here, um, Shelly? Sure. I want to really remind everybody, you still have 31 days and there's 31 more days of content that get into some of these fundamental things that are so right. important to email, like how do you start and if you're going to start organically and mm -hmm. uh, tracking your SEO and analytics. So 
don't think that we can cover everything in four days. There's no way. We just want to make sure that you have the tools that you need, know where to find it and can continue. But it's going to be up to you to explore the rest of those lessons and see what's there. And then jump in our groups and ask more questions if you need. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I've actually got some training on traffic specifically for landing pages in one of those 34 days. I don't know which day it is, but I've actually made some training on traffic to landing pages. Oh, awesome. That's great. Uh, we had somebody in the, in, the, um, in the live that was asking, what's the difference between the different paid plans in Builderall? So in Builderall, we have the um, super free plan, and then we have the premium plan and the funnel club plan. So in the premium plan, plan that is $69.90 every single month, and that is every single tool. Then we have the funnel club, and that is regularly $199 to start with, and then $99.90 per month, but it is right now on promotion as $69.90 per month, and then $69.90 every single month. So it's the exact same price as the premium right now. But the funnel club gets every single tool plus every single funnel and every single chat bot and also automatically approved as an affiliate. So the three plans that you can get right now are the super free, the premium, and the funnel club. And my suggestion wholeheartedly would be if you can get into that funnel club, get into that funnel club right now. Don't wait. It's got every single thing you could possibly imagine that you need to be able to build an online business and not just build an online business, guys. It's manage your business. Um, I mean, it seriously has 40 plus tools plus all of those funnels. So you're going to be able to do some incredible things and build businesses based on those tools. So awesome. And uh, I want to share that some, some people might be like, well, I don't want to be an affiliate for Builder. I just want to use the tools. But let me let me tell you this, guys. Usually when you use something that's great and amazing, like if if I love this phone and I tell Shelly, hey, this phone is so great. You should definitely get one. She goes, gets one, and I get no commission for it because I just shared the amazingness of this phone. So you're going to be sharing that amazingness of this tool, right, that Builder provides, all the, all the stuff that we have, the content, the training, and when somebody asks you, oh, where did you get or how did you create that amazing uh, training page that you have or your lead magnet, you tell them, oh, Builderall. Well, they're going to go to Builderall.com and you could have had a residual income thanks to sharing your personal link. That's but exactly now right. you maybe you want to upgrade, but since you didn't get the funnel club, you have to do an application and wait until the application is seen and approved. But if you're in the funnel club, share your link as soon as you <laughs> sign up. That's right. Plus you get all those funnels. And all those funnels to start building from. And future right. funnels. And future funnels, that's right. Plus you get locked in. So that price that you're paying, you get locked in. So that's another great one that Builderall does. Uh, Bridget? You know what's really, really great about those funnels? Probably my favorite thing besides just using them as a lead magnet because duh. It's like if you put that in front of a business owner who owns a salon and you say, hey, do you need you know a website? Then yeah, they're going to want it. So you're giving them value so you don't feel spammy. But also they're so easy to customize. So for example, maybe you have um, someone who needs like something really obscure. I, don't, I can't even think of anything, but some, some kind of different business and we don't have a funnel for it. It's so easy to just swap out the images and change the text it's like it, you could literally customize it and make it any business that you wanted to do which is a great way to get clients too if you are you're fairly sure that this person's going to want this funnel just take 10 minutes and customize it maybe put their logo on there maybe put their business name on there and you'll really wow them with just that little extra effort that you did to just customize that funnel exactly i even saw i can't remember who posted it in the in the training today but I think it was you, Bridget, or maybe Jackie, but posted something about you like to save the panels, the good panels from some of those. Is that you, Jackie? Um, I do the same thing. When I find a panel that I like that I'm like, wow, I really like the way that's set up. I'll just save that panel in my personal items and then I can use it any website I want to. There's a lot of, a lot of those that have great little icons or the way they've got the boxes and stuff like that. So when I find something that I really like, I just save it as a personal item and I can just use it on anything and just change the color or design a little bit. Jackie? This is probably something that's no nothing got nothing really to do with this, but there's another bright idea that you can do is if you take these funnels and you can make it your own and you create a very simple one page website. And let's say you've got a, a plumber out there or a photographer, whatever, in that specific area, you can go and create that site, make it like, let's say, a photographer in New York, to give you now a simple example. And you go and you make sure that that page rank for SEO on the first page of, page of Google. And then you print out the, the proof of that and you send it to all the photographers 
and you send them the price and say, you know what, all we need to do is add your name to it. That's basically all you need to do. That works like a bomb because people so much want to be on the first page of Google and Google loves local businesses. Obviously, Bridget can, can agree with that. And it is not so difficult for a local business if you have created the right page with the right content to rank, especially if you've got uh, some additional type of um, uh, reviews or whatever added to it. So that is really, really a cool way to use those funnel templates as well. You don't need to be a designer, though. That's true. That's absolutely true. Bridget, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm so glad that you spoke, Jackie, because I always think Jackie e-commerce. <laughs> um, but it <laughs> but it reminded me of the template shop that I created with all of these funnels. It's like, it's, I mean, as soon as we started, as soon as the e-commerce was released, I was like, that's what I've been waiting for. Because you can take all of these funnels and create your own e-commerce store, your own website. I mean, there are thousands and hundreds of thousands of websites that just sell templates for WordPress. Why could we not do the same thing for Builderall? There's right. lots of great designers. There's lots of people that don't want to be salespeople. But if you are just a great designer and you want to sell those to other Builderall people or just business owners, it's a gold mine. And it's like, it's, it's just ready for everyone to jump on it. I'm not telling you this idea because I'm afraid that everybody's going to go out and do it. I'm telling you because I want everyone to go out and do it. Put your own website up there, sell these templates. I'm telling you, it's like, it's crazy money that just works for you when you're doing other things. And put it on Fiverr because a lot of people don't oh, even go to the marketplace. Go put it on Fiverr. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you've got, you've got a service that you learned how to do already this week, which is you can set up subscriber lists and email sequences to send out for other people as well. You can offer that as an agency service. So uh, this, is, this is a powerful, powerful tool we're talking about. And just this email piece is very lucrative for yourself to build the foundation of whatever business you want to build. Or as an agency, this is one of the many services that you can provide to your clients as an agency. So super duper exciting. All right, anything else you guys? Jean, you did a fabulous job. Thank you so much for kind of closing the loop for us in this training. I'll tell you, I've been so excited about this day because I don't know if you guys had this happen to you in school, but when I was young and in high school or junior, I don't remember which one, I remember when we learned algebra, they taught us the long way first, right? They taught us how to do a, an equation like five pages, writing it all out. And you'd learn that way. And then the next day you'd come in and they teach you the way to do that equation in two lines. It's like, oh my gosh, why didn't you teach us this way the first time? Well, because you had to understand the underlying concepts so that if that short way didn't work out, you could end up doing it the long way. And that's kind of what we've done for you here. We taught you the long way. So if you don't have the funnel club, you can do everything that the funnel club can do. You just have to do it yourself. And then we showed you the funnel club, which is a really short way. So you can get it done with these plate, yakety schmackety. Look, hey, they designed a platform for you all. For you all. What you want, what you need, is build a raw. Build a raw. Build it up. We just answering your call. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You're a build a raw rock star. Rock star. Hey, you can build it all. Go hard. Go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against Look, the wall. If you're trying to build the name of your brand, the came with a plan, get your name in demand. Yeah. With build a raw, you can save your day in advance. Keep the apps automated so you barely need to glance That's fast. Listen, think of all the power that you hold It's a new globe, everyone is grabbing for their phones Imagine the control, build your passion on your own And the more that you connect, the more attraction they will show Not only a sales funnel, look, this is more advanced yeah. This will help you compete, but have the upper hand Keep your products in demand It's all in one spot, you don't have to calculate And feel afraid with your thoughts Automate your response, drag and drop your site Or click map your fans, see the pages they like Or use the video rap or capture they sites Design your own app from scratch Just how you like it hey, They designed a platform for you all you What you want, what you need Build a raw Build it up, we just answering your call We're the one stop shop If your back's against the wall yeah, You're a build a raw rock star Hey, you can build it all Go hard 
all Sign up and you'll see we got it all We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall Design with y'all in mind, let entrepreneurs shine Tired of the 9 to 5, you starting your own grind And it's alright, they got the tools you need The connection they designed is truly unique Never been able to express my views with ease I move, release, double click and do I'm pleased My clients as well, tired of the hoops and leaps Too many things in the way of my truth and dreams A builder all rock star is what you really are Tune in on the internet will make you a star You don't need to study hard, all it takes is a start Work every day and move higher till you way off chart Stay on, never sleep on, none of the apps It's a free sign up just so you know in advance Build the Raw's for the legends, nothing's holding you back You got the tools and the plan, you can stay on track Believe that They designed a platform for you all What you want, what you need, build the Raw Build it up, we just answering your call We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall You're a build a raw rock star, rock star. Hey, you can build it all, go hard. go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall.